Welcome, everybody, to episode 24 of The Final Pages. Things are getting hot up in here. Uh, and uh, one of us took off all of our clothes. Uh, their clothes, we say. Welcome back, and uh, I'm so happy to hear and see that Hamish uh, Toxin is back in the mix. Let's go to our windows. Hey, hey everybody. How we doing? Oh, boy. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, hi. So I, I understand I did take off all my clothes, but was my cleavage accurately depicted? I've seen your cleavage, and yes, it was. Fantastic. Yeah. It was entrusted to me, and again, if you give me your control of your character, I will do gratuitous descriptions of your character. That's do what with happens. me what you will. I will. <laughs> yeah, Toxin, we missed you. How how are you feeling? Things good? I'm feeling, yeah, feeling good. Things are good. Good. Um, yep. We missed you, buddy. Leon, yep. your face looks white and clean and full of blood. How How are you feeling? That's that's quite a description. Yeah, um, I'm you know. doing pretty good. I'm still recovering a little bit, but I'm I'm here. I'm present. From the, Le that's the Leonathan glow of victory. Yeah, it looks like the glow of a victorious Leonathan, a conquering hero spray. returns. Yeah, give me give me some stats, my guy. How did it go? Uh, we did it. <laughs> what did you do? We, we, we did we it. Hit, we, I came in at forty six hours. Yeah, we, we clocked in at 46 hours at the end of the stream. Uh, we hit our goal of 275 and then some. Uh, and the Leonathan fought back a little bit because I am sick. Uh, but we're, we're here. We did it. Yeah. And we're proud. Right on. 281, my guy. Good job. Thank Good you, job. Thank you. All right. Well, enough of those shenanigans. I'm glad everyone's back. Uh, giggles, default. Hikaru, we love you too. Did oh, you, thanks. Did you just stick your tongue out? That felt like the that's... proportional love that Default gives to you two. That's what that felt like to me. Yeah, that, that <laughs> definitely gave the same energy. Yeah, okay, thanks. cool. Let's but find out. Also, yes, thanks, I, Dad, I, 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 I yeah. stick my tongue out like, all the time. You're swell. You're swell. I am secretly a lizard. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> any sign of affection your tongue just comes out okay <laughs> i don't know why i said that but let's find out what happened it's Previously only... on the final pages holy mother forking shirt balls this is the bad place or at least that is what robin christopherson tries to make our adventurers believe well not our robin christopherson the other robin christopherson it, it's a little confusing, but don't worry. One of them will die before the end of this recap. Contrary to what this name twin says, I think that this is the rad place because our heroes fight a mother forking dragon. Our protagonists join an airship crew of Fire Genusi on a mission to slay the brood mother of a volcano. In the mission debrief, they revealed that this fiery vista is a previous iteration of the world, and it is not the good place. A bargain is struck. The party will assist with slaying the dragon and smuggle the crew to their plane of existence. In exchange, our adventurers will keep the airship. Through some more shenanigans with the cloak, the party finds respite from the heat within a magical dome. A dome that comes to great effect during the upcoming battle. Ducking in and out of this virtually indestructible magical shelter, our heroes sling spells, loose arrows, and swing weapons to great effect. Such great effect, in fact, that Savvy, with a single swing of her sword, knocks the legendary serpent out of the sky. And that's where we are now, in an airship diving into an active volcano to deal the finishing blow to a slightly less gigantic fire-breathing dragon. Holy mother forking shirt balls! This is the rad place! Now, back to the show. Can we settle this, please? I, I feel like we can't move forward. It's Genasi. It's Genasi. Mm, it's not Genasi. Genasi. It is Genasi. It's Genasi. I know. Genussi. I know it's Genasi, but we've established this. It's, it's Gif. Gif. It's Gif. It's we Gif. It's not just Gif. talked about it. It's not. It's Gif and it's Genasi. Like crunchy or smooth Genasi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like it crunchy. Wow. I like it crunchy. I like it smooth. 
<laughs> Mother <laughs> forking <laughs> shirt balls. <laughs> yeah, let's pin that. That's a good one. All right. Can we get a ready check? Can we do this damn thing? Uh, not ready. Okay. No, I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Then we're doing it. We're doing it live. Do so. But I'm also not ready. Where we are picking up is the top of the round. Merci. You're this dragon. Um, uh, Slovak is the name of it. Czech Slovak. Um, has been shrunken oh, in size and has just gotten beat up is now falling it's falling to yeah. the lava below um you can see the other genesis uh one of them dead um you see they're all running quickly towards the edge of the boat to look down over the starboard side what are you doing uh i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna step out of the thing so that they can hear me and I'm gonna look at the captain and be like we should probably drop the bomb now yes drop the bomb I'm sorry we're dropping a bomb in an active volcano yeah, yeah. freak yeah we are this the whole is world is kind of an active this volcano is a bad idea. hey raise your hand if you forgot about the bomb in one week, I've, I forgot about the bomb. Rosuset says, yes, it's, it's time for the, the bomb. Hit me out. What if we, we're doing pretty good. What if we just kill it without the bomb, and then we have a dead dragon and a bomb? That's not nearly as cool. I was going to say, absolutely not. <laughs> also, it's a person. So. You confess me. Drop the bomb. <laughs> Think of the story this will make. <laughs> okay, so, um, cool. I'm going back in. You go back in. I was gonna say, is there anything yep. else you'd like to do? I know. I back up. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Gonna, and yeah. I just look at the rest of the party. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna drop the ball. You're gonna get sick if you keep going from hot to cold, hot to, hot to cold. Just watch. You're gonna have flu-like symptoms from this. You're gonna be yes, and then you're no. Like... Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. That was good. That was good, Hamish. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Hey. On Czech Slovak's turn, it is going to fall. Now, at the end of the turn, does she get to do anything? I mean, yeah. That she depends doesn't, she's on not... if she hits the ground or not. She is so going to hit. She will fall 500 hey. feet and yeah. around. Yeah. Okay. How, how high up is she at the, like, yeah, how, how high are how, we? How, yeah. You're about 300 feet. She's about zero feet. Okay, so she hit the ground immediately when uh, when Savvy knocked her prone. She like, you fall, when you get knocked prone in the air, you fall 500 feet immediately. Yeah, like in a vacuum? Or is it like One Punch Man? Like No, not like in a vacuum. It's like... Or like in Naruto? You are knocked from the sky. Within a second or two, you are, you are there. Yeah. Right. And the way that it's determined and, is before the start of the next round, because this is how it works yeah. from a mechanical standpoint. On on the dragon's turn, yeah. it now would be able to fly again and take its actions because it already fell the 500 feet nice. and hit the ground. Yeah, we were 501 feet up in the air. It is nah. falling with its wings uh, reaching up towards you all. Um, its eyes um, dimming and its tail flapping in the wind as it hits the lava with a huge splat. That'll be it for its turn. But how much damage does it take? Can, can Savvy roll it because Sav Savvy did, made it fall? <laughs> uh, no, Savvy can't roll it. And well, I roll uh, it because I redeemed it last week. You redeemed what? A roll, roll for, for the DM. That's true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to. You don't no, have it's to. fine. It's fine. I like this. I like this. What is the math of falling 300 feet? Roll 20 d6 for us, please. Let's see it. Please, yeah. Hamish. 20 d6. Kill him. What's the macro to roll 20 d6? They're on the left bar. You can click yeah, on the dice, that. and then if you, um, you can click advanced roller at the bottom of it. Oh, there. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Do me a favor and murder it. <laughs> yeah. Roll a bunch of ones. 
and then we drop the bomb on it anyway. Okay, seventy eight. So, wow. I I would like to just uh, call yeah, back to, to to when when uh, monk. And it's fine. Let us know. That's last. That's for that's for our YouTubers. <laughs> That's for our YouTubers to find out. I just, I just want to recall, guys. This... Just, totally unrelated. I would like to just uh, remember. I remember a number fifty-six. Monk, monk. What, what was that number from? I... Listen. <laughs> Listen, that's there was a, what was, was that a that's meta gaming. Also, if you press this cannon button, it fires a rocket. You gotta think. Of, you gotta think about hey, how pissed that's, the that's YouTube cool. viewers are gonna be. Because okay. they're watching this back to back. They just <laughs> heard the number fifty six ten minutes ago. <laughs> so. Oh wait! If they're listening to it right now, fuck you. But <laughs> <laughs> also, we love you. Got him. Use of default are not the views of everyone related. Default does not love you. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I do love you. I just am disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not so, mad. <laughs> Except that eight. The I'm dragon living. hits with a heavy thud and a splash. Um, Robin, what are you doing? I'm watching a dead dragon float. <laughs> <laughs> it, does, it does the thumbs up as it starts to sink. Um... Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do... Uh, uh, might as well. I'm going to do a tap dance routine. <laughs> Damn it. This will take your action. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send my action to do okay. a tap dance routine. Okay. Uh, for my, okay, here we go. Here we go. Sorry, my character sheet was struggling. Okay, so I'm going to do a performance. And bam. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll, that'll do it. That'll do. Um, you succeed. Good oh, job. Oh, but I, I, uh, oh no, I, I start to doubt myself and I outwardly criticize each step and I have disadvantage. You know, that's not like you. And I get the exact same because I'm better than all that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, this, there's this very motivational young adult film that happens just in this like five seconds. I'm like, man. Maybe I can't tap dance. And then I stop oh my and I gosh. go, No, I can. Okay. Because I have spirit. And uh, and uh, Ham watches this and gets advantage on his next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Camille. By, by the way, I was inspired, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Camille, what are you doing? There is uh, still one little lava dude over here. He was just looking down, like, Damn, did that just happen? My, is my queen dead dead? Yeah, probably. Right? I don't know. This is where it, like, I don't know, falls in the lava and then comes out as, like, a super dragon or some bullshit. You don't know me. I'd be good with that. I'd hey, be good with that. Hey, is, uh, <laughs> is, um, <laughs> is oh, yeah, Camille's audio coming in good for everyone? Chat, does Camille sound good? Camille, give us Am a I mic test. Hello, hello, I mean, hello. are we okay? I think, I think, I think you're okay. 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 I think I think, pretty I think he damn sounds like melted fine. chocolate. Okay. Hey. That's all I was looking for. <laughs> Cammy, what are you doing? Um, I Puck can hear you. Good. They, thank I you, think, Puck. I think other people can handle uh, the little guy. I'm gonna just be on the edge of the ship, and I'm going to ready Eldritch Blast to just try to try to push her back down into the lava if she does get out. Okay. No. Oh, Hamish, no, 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 no. you're back no. in your body, back in your mind, as if you just it zoned out for the last four hours. Somehow your shirt is off. I don't know. <laughs> Somehow your cleavage you know, is. I'm very okay with it right now. It was getting a little bit. But hot. hot flashes, man. That's what I. Yeah. I mean, that's hey, what you yeah. said. It's very <laughs> hot. It's very, very hot. <clears throat> All right, so so we got one little one little flower demon over here, and then flower uh, demon. Dead... Hey, I say what I say. Okay. <laughs> It's patronizing. That's okay. No, you're good. Yeah. Um, not to be that guy, but do I know the dragon's dead? Um, it is five hundred feet I, up. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna if you peek, you're gonna burn your retinas like. out. So let's let's have a con save. Right. You're looking into a volcano. Advantage because I'm also hot. No, because you have inspiration from Robin's tap dance. 
Oh, this is gonna eat up the silvery barbs. Dang it. Well, wait, why does he have to roll a con save? I thought we only had to roll it if we were out of the- uh, Because the he's just for... looking over the barbecue pit into the fire. Okay. It's valid. There's a lot of light there. You know, what? like in Star Wars, how hot it is sometimes. Uh, what is a nat 20? Hell yeah. You don't have advantage. You told yeah. me that, dude. Because, because the, the silver silvery barbs. Ride. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, no. You, it you burns ready. your eyebrows, but it's like looking into a punty hole, which is what glass blowers look into to see the the glass. It's called a punty, oh, yeah, yeah. a punty hole. It isn't moving. It's currently on fire and sinking. What it's yeah, sinking it's about, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it seems, Thank seems, you. Pretty, dead. It seems <laughs> pretty dead. I was, I, I was going to sharpshooter it because 600 range, but yeah. That's neither here nor there. I mean, if it makes uh, you feel better, I put an X on it. How's that? We did it! Um, I'm going to assume that there's Hunter's Mark on there and move it to the other guy. And if there's that not Hunter's true. Mark, I'll cast Hunter's Mark and move it to the other guy. You know, you actually had the foresight to move it both, not just now, but before your attack the last time. That doesn't sound That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you were pressing my... These hot flashes are getting to you, buddy. Mm, mm. It's crazy. <laughs> Clothes are coming off. You're doing things in the correct order. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who does? Who does? Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just shoot. been taken over by a mind parasite. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing things in the right order. It's freaking me out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shoot the guy. All right, shoot away. A 13 misses. It fires wide and far, and a four. You have inspiration, like just a normal inspo die. Uh, can I roll a natural one misses. Are you going to add inspiration to the 13? I would like to. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I, I, give, I give up on the one. Oh, I know you do, and it's still going to fly. But let's see. All right. Unless you kill it. All right, so... Which you don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 19, 19 to hit on that first one? Yeah, What's 19 hits. Mark? All right, perfect, perfect. Okay, yeah, no, okay. So you don't fire a second time because you killed it on the first shot. Woo you just got yourself a free natural one. You're welcome. Okay, anything else from you, Hamish? Uh, can I return the natural one? I don't want it. Uh, no, fire you... Fire an arrow into the air. <laughs> yeah, <it's... in> celebration. <laughs> I'm letting your wind flow through the breeze. Yeah. It doesn't it, exist because it's hot it, everywhere. It catches it on fire from the surround. <laughs> yeah. From the surround starts singing the shanties. Spontaneously, it combusts. And it looks kind of like sparklers. Yeah. Okay. Sav, you're up. Uh, from inside the dome, does it... When Mercy directed them to drop the bomb, does it look like there's, like, a lever or anything around the cage to... Drop said bomb? Uh, yeah, it does look like there is a lever. And if you pull the lever, uh, it will open up this cage and let out this wildebeest. This wild beast. From the bottom? Um, like from over here. From the no, north. No, 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 but. Does it come out of the bottom of the cage? Yes. No, like, the cage what? opens up like a like a, a like a man door. What is this a bombing cage then? Well, he he's gonna get out of the cage. Do you want to throw the whole cage over? He's very obviously not in there of his own will. He tried to choke slam somebody the last time they got near it. He's yeah. been described as inhospitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why would we let him out of the cage under the assumption he's just going to climb into the lava? Do you want to watch him do it? Did. Do you want to see what they're going to do? I was... No, not really because okay. what I was going to... You can, yeah, now I'm you can either open the cage or you can wait for them to see what they were planning on doing. Cut, cut the chain and kick it over <laughs> the edge. Cage and all. <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, Savvy is... <laughs> Going what do you want to do? <laughs> ready in action to swing her sword 
at something hostile that enters her reach. Okay. That's her turn. Okay. On their turn, they're going to get behind the cage, and you're going to see with magics. Uh, they are going to cast Levitate on the cage. And you right. I was just kind of hoping maybe you'd let this thing free. But you didn't. And uh, they will unhook this thing. And as they cast Levitate, this cage is going to float up and over the ledge. And then they're going to release. And yeah. the cage is going... <laughs> Who fucking did that? Who did that? <laughs> Which one of you, Toxin, how dare you? You have a natural one, friend. Your next roll is a natural one, no matter what. You're, gr you're grounded. Unless you're taking one for Leon. I, so, the, when you could cast Levitate, uh, the very next song on my playlist was Dua Lipa. So... It, it's hey, not. Hey. It's not levitate. It's new rules, but nice. That, that's a good. <laughs> and then, good. as the bomb is dropped, uh, you're going to see uh, Rosu Sid is going to quickly turn the ship uh, away from the blast. Um, and it's cool because it's the end of the round or the, the end of the turn. So um, it is going to hit uh, this dragon and it is going to explode um and what you're going to notice as the ship is turning is that rather than there being this very large splash that comes up and out of the lava it doesn't it's actually kind of a quiet explosion and um the bowser uh ship quickly turns away from it um a moment later, and you guys are out of initiative. So let me let me clear up initiative here. <clears throat> As the ship turns and careens out of the area, you're going to hear um, Rosucid and the other Genesi, uh, Genesi, sorry, um, start to cheer at what happens. Uh, what do you all do? So. Mm. How do we know when it blew up? Like, also, what was that? We probably should have asked that earlier. <laughs> Thanks for clipping that, Mopsy. Uh, you are going to see um, as Rozu Sid is going to look and say, you know, that is quite odd. It didn't explode. <laughs> I was expecting flames and, and fireworks. Uh, and he's going to turn the ship back around. And as you look down, uh, now that the ship is careening the other direction, you see what looks to be a whirlpool. And you see all of the magma going into the hole that was left from this explosion. Is it going into your town, Hamish? Okay. I mean, they should have hoped that. Because... <laughs> Two things. One, that would destroy my, to my town. And two, that would uh, block our only way home. If that's yeah. The case. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is happening. That's like what makes... Uh, I think I think it fell. I think it's uh, going in. Yeah. D does it look like that at all? As we're doing the tip? like Make an Arcana check. The DC on this is five. Oh, no. Oh. That's the Baldur's Gate way of saying they want me to pass this. <laughs> but please roll less than a five. Not one. Um, oh, why is my character sheet going so slow? Arcana. I really hope it's not what I think it is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Unnatural 20. <laughs> yes. The lava is pouring into the portal. Uh, where you were picked up and the bomb has completely destroyed whatever barrier uh, Hamish's mom has set. And it seems to be eating the magma from this volcano. Um, I lean back from the thing and I go, it's a good news, bad news situation. Good news. The vampire is like 100% dead. <laughs> well, that, yeah, well no, it's safely tucked underneath the boat. 
<laughs> I, I can't even look over the side without burning my eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah, rules work differently for me. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Con save. As you're looking over, let's see if you have any no, retinas I, left. I mean, that was in reference to the vampire. He's, actually, lo actually, he's looking from no, the bubble. No. Yeah, the, the boat tipped. I'm staying in the bubble. I'm not looking over the railing. I don't think I left the bubble. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely, your your town is on fire for sure, Zs. Do you guys, and I poke my face out the bubble, do you guys have like a reverse bomb? I don't know what a reverse bomb is, but no, we're free of the dragon. The portal, uh, the portal was uh, large. Yeah, 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 was. Yeah. How, how large is it now? Uh, probably a yeah. little bit between huge and and gigantic. Boom yeah. size. Let's go. So we're just gonna wait for the volcano to drain enough <laughs> to get below the portal. <laughs> the captain says, "Wait, are you telling me we can Absolutely. get? We can go through there." This boat oh. is built for fire. Hell, we're yeah. all built for fire. Let me. Yeah, it's lava proof. Is that lava proof? As he points to this bubble that you guys are in. And I'm sure you're sticking your face out to talk. <laughs> um, yes. Camille, please get back in the bubble. Yeah, I don't like any of this. It's very hot. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. I like it, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. See, there's have, there's either two options: we, we live or we die. But it's gonna be a hell of a show either way. <laughs> I would like to point out that those are always the only two options. So, like, it's no different than any other Wednesday. I can't die, so I really only have the one option. You're right. <laughs> no, no consequences. consequences. Oh, and then I poke my face out. Uh, left. Oh, I don't know any other ship things. Sabi, what's a ship thing? What's something to say on a ship? Uh, tell him. Tell, tell him to sail into the into the pit with the with the swelling magma. They're like. They're, they're, not, they're not really sailing though. And yeah, she finds sailing. herself. She finds herself, like, amidst their redirection, caught up in the idea that it's not really, I mean, it doesn't have, like, it's an airship. It's not a, it's not a sailing ship. It doesn't have sails. It has Savvy's like, really going over pedantics right now about what sailing yeah. is and is it. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. Back out and, and, and I, Mercy <laughs> just pops her head out and goes, head towards the center of the spiral and don't hit any of the walls. And Camille says, yeah. <laughs> What does that sound like? Uh, I do say that. Well, Savi, I don't mean to be that gay, but uh, aren't all ships using air to sail? So aren't they all airships? I will push you out of this bubble <laughs> right now. Right now I will do it. Well, he, he's kind of got a point. <laughs> you can go after him if you want. I knocked a dragon out of the sky. Do you wonder what I'm going to do to you if you piss me off? And there's there's moisture in the air, technically, so this is also a ship that sails on water. That's true. I don't know how much moisture is in this air, specifically, but Probably not air. And just then, your bubble poofs and dissipates. Oh, <laughs> All right, time to go. And you watch as Ham, Cam, and Robin fly off the edges of the ship. <laughs> Sorry! Dude, if, they, if, they, if they didn't start going that way, I mean, we gotta jump. Don't go through the lava! I, I think that's a 600-foot drop, but that all that means is that physics will fly us into the sky on the way out. Mercy. But and Puck then, said your face is hashtag relatable during that whole conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's gonna say... I told you, this realm is hell. Ever since the calamity, if there's freedom on the other side, we just poked a hole through it. 
turn off the globe. And you're going to see as one of the uh, Genesiuses is going to run up to the globe and begin to cast some form of magic. And you're... Wait, our globe? The... No, no, no. Our globe already went away. No, your globe went away. It's hot for you what, guys. What globe are we talking about? The the magical the orb. Actual oh, air balloon. I see. Um, okay. Our orb go away. It just barely went away. Yeah. You... Went yeah. Away. We we barely. We, we, okay, were, out, we were already out, over the eight hours for it, I, so I we're not going to question why it's still there. I I have I have a theory. Okay. One, one thing I will say is like timeline wise, we did say we theory. had an. We had an hour left on it. That's, and, okay, thank you. And our, our fight was only like five rounds, six rounds. Um, so it wasn't even like a full minute. Okay. Um, realistically, I'm doing it so it's a little bit more fun. So it's not just an elevator ride, but like a roller coaster. Okay. That, okay that, Honestly, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, hey, and I think that fight would have been a little bit below. different if... Yeah. Uh, if you fought the dragon without the bubble, but I said bubble, but so, uh, my, my, uh, playlist just switched to bubble, but like, yeah, that's crazy by run DMC. So, so before, before you continue, cause okay. I get the feeling that we're about to dive down into, into an ocean of lava. It's going to be bad. I just want to throw out a theory. Okay. Is this our airship just in the past because we got a dragon skull there was a dragon it's a flying airship flying airship weird orb that does things weird orb that does things hey Mitch, are you having Another this conversation version. right now because you can barely breathe your lungs are burning it's, no. it's, it's differently shaped this things are laid out differently <laughs> so you guys are running around some of you are going downstairs um yeah mercy's like yeah I'm absolutely going. okay no. you run downstairs yeah. Everyone follows? Go. Yeah. Okay. You hear the tss as the air is being released from the the blimp. Um, and you can see the captain reaches down and grabs him a couple chains and hitches it onto his waist. Um, all of the Genussis start to tie themselves uh, against anything. Uh, and you start to spiral. You are going to feel the ship is going to turn completely sideways um, and perpendicular to this now whirlpool of lava swirling beneath you. Um, and you are going to start to spin and drop. Um, what are you doing, Leon? Um, what? Oh, I'm down below. You went down below? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I need deck saves from all of you. Oh! Okay. That was my, that's the noise I make during the deck save. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's accurate. Okay. I'm, I am very scared while I'm juggling balls. Okay. During, I'm You're sorry, juggling. Just, I'm, I'm juggling. <laughs> no, it's not the time. You're gonna lose them. <laughs> You're like on a on a like a, a theme park roller coaster right now. Um, for those of you who rolled under a uh, a ten, you're going to take sixteen points of fire damage as every wall down here is metal and is scorching hot. And you're putting your hands up and you're burning yourself. Your shoulders are getting burned. Um. Yeah, wait. Yeah, 16 or 16? 16. Okay. Okay. I was like, hello. Definitely sounded like you said 60. No, 16. I was like, we are all instantly dead. To be fair, I was sort of okay with. And then (laughs) you're going to see that all the lights are going to go out. It is going to go pitch black. This is fine. Wait, it's so hard to juggle, but I'm somehow (laughs) still managing. (laughs) Now, while things go pitch black, Hamish, you have this um, feeling in your gut that this is bad. And you immediately start just imagining just how bad it is on the other side. 
there there's a there's a perpetual ocean of lava that is currently destroying a desert town. There's no way this ends well. It's true. It's true that that uh, it, it probably won't. And then you all are bombarded by steam when suddenly the air around you immediately cools by a hundred degrees and everything immediately starts to evaporate and just steam everywhere i need constitution saving throws from everyone as this ship has just been pulled We are rolling like bosses. Okay. I want everyone to know before we hear what happens next, I stand by that there are no consequences and we will never die. I stand by that at least to know what we die. Yeah, I live live by that. (laughs) I'm dying. (laughs) I'm, I'm definitely dead. Have you ever woken up dead before? Yeah. Actually. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. We define dead. (laughs) First time. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Okay. Now, you guys are underground. So, um, as this quick change in temperature... Uh, happens you are putting together that you are back in the real world and those of you who rolled under a 10 are going to take another 14 points of just bludgeoning damage from your lungs immediately reacting to this cold air and um, you are going to hear um gasps coming from the the crew down here uh but there is no light from where you're standing you are in the dark and you feel the gravity as you are being shoved to the ground this ship is flying straight up at a very very fast rate what do you do uh how close are we to the opening because uh, or, or mercy's just gonna yell out uh to get the uh get the get the orb back up okay so you yell um but you're still underground do you come up onto deck yeah she's gonna get as close as she can because i don't know how far back like all of that when doing the deck save like she was knocked too far back or not okay uh depending how cl- how close she got to the stairs okay you are going to yell out and you're going to hear the captain screaming and kind of laughing <laughs> come see this come see this uh and uh the the ship starts to slow a little bit although it's still f- careening up into the sky um and you hear laughter coming from on top of the deck um I slide in to frame next to the captain. Yeah. Still juggling the balls. So you've gone upstairs? Yeah. I'm just next to him. And he's like, come see this. And like, wow. Okay. (laughs) You are flying high above Brittle Hollow. And the ship is intact. You look up and you can see that... um, Indeed, the city itself is currently burning. You see that there are people screaming and running in every direction. You see some that are trapped in fires. You see dead horse on the ground. Uh, You see that the tavern has begun to collapse. Um, You can see that those paladin um, are currently running around. And you see some of those creatures have also seeped in. The creatures that you've been fighting from the other realm. You see bits and pieces of the dead dragon its wing uh laying on top of the uh 
on top of one of the roofs of the smith. Um, and you are going to see that the whole town is catching fire. Um, yeah, that's what you see. What are you doing? Hey, DM, I have a point of order. Yes, go ahead. Hello. I am unconscious and dying right now. I just—I said that earlier. I don't think anybody heard me. No, uh, oh, we didn't. didn't. I, if I yeah, knew I'm, that, I would have healed you. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, yeah. I I heard it. <laughs> Verdun says, "Let them." <laughs> you, <left anyway. laughs> uh, you said you never die. <laughs> I would like to uh, shove some berries that. in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, Mercy will run over and. Uh... <laughs> Hey, she some one of her potions and cast cure wounds down his throat. Okay. <laughs> I'm just bleeding on the floor. I'm like, he's fine. You're like juggling over him as you go talk to the captain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it still Hang pitch on. black below deck? Um, also a plus. You uh, see that? I believe the Akalmical Savant counts towards that. Yes. Plus four. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Nice. So, Savvy, it, there is a labyrinth of metal corridors. So where you're currently standing, yeah. yes, it is pitch black. Um, unless you make your way through this this hot maze. Well, it wouldn't be... I mean, based on your own description, it got cooled obscenely rapidly. Yes, yes. Which is so... You won't hurt yourself making your way through it, but you do have to make your way through the maze. And eventually, on the other side of the maze, you're going to see where all the cannons are. You're going to see where the crew is. Uh -huh. um, and you're going to see uh, that they are currently all sticking their heads out of the portholes. Uh, they pull the cannons back and are now just gawking at it this world that they see as the Bowser continues to rise. How do they seem like they handled the journey? They, um, that's a good question. Um, you're going to you see described them before as not the strongest, most physically capable looking individuals. Yeah. And so I was really not. curious on how they, um, uh, handled that transition. Yeah. Um, you're going to see, you're going to see that some of them, um, their lungs have burst and they're oh, basically geez. on the ground with blood and, and guts coming out of their mouth. Um, the others that are, uh, out of the window, looking out of the window seem to have been hurt, but are still awake and, um, enjoying the view so those who whose lungs didn't what are the pop percentage of those that made that i'd say there's about five left out of the 13 ish five left okay um, mm -hmm. yeah you're going to see that a cloud is going to form around you um as condensation um is going to just connect to the ship the ship itself is, it's like sticking a hot sword in water. Um, it's its just been over that lava and in a different realm for so long. Um, but it is cooling. And because of how hot it is, it, that's why you guys were flying so high into the air. Um, eventually, the captain um, has a ship starting to move forward. And it's just kind of circling around. You start to see uh, the mountains on the horizon. Um you see the smoke coming up from the town below, uh, and the captain is just, just jubilant and just laughing, um, and he can't believe that they're out of that realm. What do you all do? Um, I are there any people who are like surrounded by fire who need rescuing, like anything like that? Yes, <laughs> there's lots of people. I point at the most desperate group of people I can see, and I go, "Take us to them!" As I'm still furiously juggling. He's as we get closer. I'd like to jump off said boat. Oh. And help evacuate the city. Okay. Town. Building. Okay. Cool. So, um, he's gonna look down. He's gonna say, "So this is where you come from, huh?" And he spins the wheel, and again, the ship rocks up on its side as it starts to spiral back down. 
um, as you come down, you're going to see that there are pockets of people trying to escape the burning uh, buildings. You're going to see that the paladins are currently fighting some of these creatures that have come out. Um, and then you're going to see to the east of the map where there's uh, the market where um, the tabaxi uh, Fraulein Softpaw was um, currently trying to grab as many wares um, and pots and pans and everything that he can to get out of there as fast as possible. You see that- That one, save that one. I don't <laughs> care what it costs. Save Frau one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Hamish, you're now about a hundred feet off of the ground um, as a ship's coming down. Um, and as you jump, Camille, the potion goes down the throat and immediately fills your veins and your heart. Um, and you snap out of it. And as you open your eyes, you're in pitch darkness um, in the ship. Uh, 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 thank you kindly, wh whoever is that. Uh, the glasses, it, it, goggles. Uh, hi, Mercy. Me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we should we should go up. There's a lot. There's a lot. And then she'll help guide. Okay. She'll put on her night vision goggles and nice. help guide. Okay. So you two come up onto the deck and you see a bright blue sky with... Instantly takes goggles off. Oh, God. <laughs> with one sun instead of four. Oh, I'm going dark. You hear the burning of wood and you hear screaming of people. Um, yeah. What are, what are you doing? Okay, uh, so he it, is the ship actively moving towards a group that needs help? Um, no, it's just kind of hovering. It's getting lower and lower. It's currently at a hundred feet, a hundred feet, and spiling around the town. Um, but uh, it it won't touch ground, but it'll get as low as maybe thirty feet from the ground. There's ladders, the same um, ladder that um, Robin Christopherson dropped for you. You can have a ladder, but the ship's not going to stop moving. Does it look like the portal is still gushing out lava? Yes. And creatures. Okay. Um... While you're thinking, Hamish, mm -hmm. where are you trying to leap to? You can leap onto any of these roofs Perfect. or the ground itself. Um, I mean, I'll try to leap onto a roof because that's not going to be as far of a, of a drop. Okay. But um, I'm going to leap to where there's people and try to get them. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, Syl was up here up on a hill just outside of town. Correct. Yeah, we're we're getting these guys to high ground because I know there's probably a way to close that portal. Of yeah. Lava, but at this point, the lava is probably just gonna keep on coming, and we just have to get out of here. Okay. As and you it leap keeps up, on coming and they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't jump stop the coming, ground, and they don't running. stop coming, and they don't stop coming. <laughs> um, you Maybe. jump off the boat and you land on a roof and you do a parkour roll um hey. and these boots were made for walking one thing you'll notice is and yeah and yeah you're gonna notice that the anti-magic barrier at least where you've landed has been destroyed and as it's been destroyed um you your boots work um Oh yeah, there's the fire. Uh, nice. Yeah, there's the fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> see, see where the fireflies are in Sill? That that that's that's like where we're headed, away from Dick Tower, over to Sill. 
Okay, well, dang, you don't got to call it that. <laughs> is that. No, that's what it's named after. More Dick Valley is named after Dick Tower. <laughs> so you, uh, you fall onto one of the roofs, and you're going to see that there is currently um, a little girl that and her mom that are currently trying to lift um, a beam that has fallen from one of the burning buildings off of uh, this man. You see that the end of the beam is currently on fire. Uh, you see that the mom has thrown like a wet blanket over her face and she's currently screaming as they're trying to lift um, this beam off the dad. Uh, you go to help um, and it's just enough that it's not putting any weight on him, but you can't move it any further. Um, he's unconscious. Robin. Could I have started to climb down? Because we, like, lower the ship. Can I yeah. climb down? Yeah, you, you slide down the ladder and you help. Go ahead and help. I run while up and I... that's happening, I'm looking for Hamish's mom. Okay. So Where while he's he doing that, make a perception check. And then... Okay. Go ahead, Robin. How are you helping? I cast Thunder Wave. Okay. On one side of the beam that would make sure yeah. everyone's out of it. And, it. and it looks kind of like a dad grunt. I go, Hoo! and yeah. then a Thunder Wave. <laughs> yes. This giant beam goes flying through the air and hits you in the leg, Mercy. Um, just kidding. <laughs> I, I, like, I like to imagine that it goes end over end over end for like <laughs> 10 feet. Not again. Um, you see that she is currently fighting. Um, the fight that she is in the middle of is between two paladins and two of these creatures. But you're going to notice that one of the paladin is fighting a creature. The other paladin is fighting her. Um, and she is fighting them off. Uh, she is wearing her full regalia, her juridic regalia. And she's fighting them off with a staff. Um, and you see them. They're probably 70, 80 feet away from you and on the ground towards the northwest, northwest of the town. Uh, I'm going to point that out to Cam and Savvy. Savvy is still on the boat. Yeah, Savvy's inside I'm still the boat. On the, I'm also still on the boat. Yep. Uh, I, 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 Below I, I deck. wanted a bird's eye oh. move. Oh, Below deck. okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh. I just tell this to Ham then, uh, to Cam then. How far away is Ham's mom and the person attacking her? About 70 feet. Mm -hmm. 70 I'm feet shoot out. The guy attacking her. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and make a shot. I don't. I don't even need context for that fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you just say that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're rolling an 11, a 19 hits. Okay. Okay. Force and he gets pushed 10 feet away from her. Okay, this crackling beam comes down off the boat uh, from Camille, who just got resuscitated. It hits this person right in the shoulder, and he goes flying. Immediately, you see uh, that Hamish's mom puts the staff on the ground and just looks up at this ship, her mouth wide open, um, as she sees you standing and pointing in her direction. So, um, has it come back to kind of like when me and Ham can do something? So, first let's do uh, what Savvy's doing, and then we'll come back down to oh. the beam. Okay. Sav. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what are you doing? So, as Savvy observes the members of the crew that are gathered down under deck and the five or so that are left um, with the bodies of those who didn't make the transition laying on the ground, Savvy doesn't take a moment to look out at what's happening on the town. Instead, she just begins to address those within the hull. And she'll call out to them. We honored our portion of the bargain. And I intend to ensure that you will as well. This ship is ours. But you do not have to leave it. We brought low a dragon. Something that neither you nor your captain had done before. Not after one nor two, but four attempts. And would you like to live in this land of opportunity, of freedom, of potential, of treasure to be gained? 
without a ship? Or would you like to join our crew? I am Captain Dragonfell. Oh. You may follow me, <laughs> or you may die here and now. Which will it be? Fuck yeah, says the DM. They're going to... <laughs> this isn't even a, a persuasion. Oh, Captain. Our Captain. <laughs> oh, Captain. Our Captain, they start to say. Oh, Captain, our Captain. And they start to bang uh, on the chains and on the on the cannons. Um, and you just uh, see that they all begin to kind of cheer. The cool air kind of blowing through their, through their hair. You can still see they have lava and fire kind of coursing through their veins. Uh, these are fire genesi after all. Um, and they're going to say to you, you have not only freed the Bowser and its crew from hell, but you're promising adventure and treasure. Yes. And you're going to see on their hands, on the outside of their hands, as they put them up to their chest, they're all going to flash with that same symbol that popped up on Robin's hand when the pact was made. Um, and then they're going to just say, what will you have us do, Captain? Enjoy the view. And she's <laughs> going to turn around to go above deck. <laughs> what did you say your name was? Captain Dragonfell. Holy. Okay. <laughs> you get inspiration, <laughs> sir. That was amazing. <laughs> Meanwhile. I get in that one. Yeah. I love how when, when Savvy... <laughs> When Savvy tells Bounce. the story of how she got that name, it will sound exaggerated, like every captain's tale, but she literally <laughs> brought a dragon low with her own hands. I an active volcano. freaking love that. It's, pretty, it's gonna be fun. Okay, be the beam flies off of the man. Uh, you're gonna hear the woman uh, look down and say, Robin, Hamish, thank you. What's happening? I, I, didn't, I didn't do anything. That was Ham. I just got here. Hamish, she goes to hug you, and Hamish, you're going to see she's got third degree yeah, burns on her arms. Her hair on the, her side of her head has been burnt badly. Um, her daughter looks perfectly fine, but absolutely devastated from what's going on. And she, they're just going to scream, What's happening? Um, Go that way. We, we got this. What kind of activity? Uh, Go. Wait. We got this under control. <laughs> but what about Lucian, my, my husband? And you can see. He's dead. <laughs> no, he's not dead. I'm just talking to him. He can't be dead. I pull up my class though. Oh shit! We gotta put him, we gotta put him out of his no! She dives on top of him. No. Robin, Robin you're making it worse. <laughs> Robin, you asshole. It's unsettled women and uh, woman and uh, get out of town. But uh, someone pick him up. Uh, I I go. Line. And I call over just a nearby person and I say, grab him, go to the edge of town. We're going to go help others. Lord, sir, these rainbow fires beautiful. Thank you. Um, are you telling me to grab him or are you going to grab him? We're not grabbing him. We got to go that way. Oh, shit. Okay, so she reaches down and grabs his arm and throws it up over her shoulder. And her and her daughter slowly pick him up and start to slowly walk away as the rest of the walls kind of come down. I telepathically speak to somebody nearby, and I say, Hey, help that lady and daughter with their un unconscious and probably already dead husband. Do they get to respond or no? They just no. hear it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What, are, what uh, else are you guys doing as you've saved this man? Oh, just so, ushering everybody out of the tent okay. is what I'm doing. But Yeah, you're so going to see Fraulein I has a broken paw, and he's currently licking it. And he's carrying like his arm through uh, some sausage, some some items that look like uh, like some jewelry boxes. He's got his hand through some silverware, um, and he's going to see you. And he's going to say, "You can." What's happening right now? I don't get it. what's going on. There's no time to pause and talk about it. You gotta be kidding me that we're doing this right now. We can't 
do this. We can't do this. That one's a little hard with the voice. Please help me. Uh, uh, okay. A small clause in our agreement to help with. Anyway. He starts running go. away. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I, uh, I imagine as we're kind of like directing people, uh, maybe I turn and maybe through the flames in kind of a cinematic framing with a very clear pathway, we can see the fight that is occurring and being broken up uh, between Ham's mom and Dodina and the paladins. Maybe. So as you are ushering people away um, and seeing that there are actual dead, you see that the fire have completely taken over several houses. The well has caught fire or the tower itself has caught fire. So now it's a flaming penis. And there you see on the other side, um, you see this paladin getting up off the ground, looking up at a flying ship that's currently blotting out the sun. Um, and you can see that the the uh, the old captain is currently with hair flaming, uh, just smiling as he's circling the city. Um, and there she is currently um, casting uh, some kind of thorn whip on the uh, lava mephit. And as it wraps around it, she slams it into the wall and it pops, bursting the wall into fire. Um, and then she turns her aggro towards the other paladin. And immediately you see she jumps towards them. Um, Going back to Mercy and Camille, what are you guys doing upstairs? Oh, oh. sorry. Do, do, yeah. Do we not get it? Like, sorry, I, I was basically wanted to do something with that. And that's why I was like, do we? Maybe no, see you that spent your turn not... flirting with the cat with puns. Uh, speaking <laughs> of cats, um, can I connect with Syl? How? Like, is there a connection? Do I feel that at all? Uh, do you meow at her? I mean, how do you normally connect with <laughs> Is she Syl? okay? Just tell me if she's okay. <laughs> you got to go find out. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna do, Robin? Can I undo my whole last turn? No, <laughs> no, it's out I there. Wanna, I want to do something with with the, the cool fight that's happening. <laughs> what What do you want to do, Robin? So I want to walk up, and I want to um, like kind of walk through the fire, kind of like I I gesture to to what's happening with Ham, and we walk together through the fire and kind of a cool cinematic everyone toxin said hydrate th please and Thanks, i toxin. i look at Cheers. the two of them um and i go hey what the fuck is happening and i'm going to uh, one of them i'm going to do uh um unsettling words so i'm going to roll one of my bardic inspiration to give them disadvantage on a um on their next check and then i'm going to upcast uh command to target both of them okay what? look he's doing uh, it <laughs> that's what you get leon learn your lesson okay so you give him disadvantage and then you cast command on jacob i, uh, I do it on both of them on jacob so, and so the other one okay um so yeah and i'll have jacob have a uh, uh, minus d8 so okay. Jakob will have a minus five to his his roll. So Sheesh. It's, okay. It's a wisdom save. Um, DC fourteen. Oh no, DC sixteen. Okay, he I rolled a nine. Sorry, it's a what save? Wisdom save. Oh, wisdom hey. save. I guess Cammy has got to do five more squats unless he has a drink. Uh, uh, I would like to do his squats for him. By all means, he's, he's, squat away. He's, he's in the I thought he was gonna go get some water. No, he's making water. Okay. Probably true. Here, All right, let's zoom in on this. There it is. There it is. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I was gonna ask Camille or Leon what he's doing. Um, so we'll go to well, you. He, we'll go to. Oh yeah. Well, did they save? Um, they did not save. So I, I, uh, I go. Hey, respect this uh, pillar of nature. I think it's about time for both of you to grovel. Um, and they have to both fall prone. Is the command respect? Because they can respect oh, her. Sure. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm doing the grovel um, uh, one in there. And it says the target falls prone and they end their turn. So they're just going to waste their turn. They're going to be prone in front of her. Um, okay. As we kind of step out from the, the fire and I go, they're all yours, Ham. My lady. 
We're so sorry. We're just following orders. As they kind of grovel at her feet. And that's, that's the end of my turn. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, okay. How close are they to the lava? Uh, Reminder, your mother is right there. Not very. They're closer to fire than lava. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Lava uh, is where the red fire is. You're co closer to the corner of the town where fireflies are. But I, but I'm somewhat close then. Yeah, not to lava, to fire. And they were fighting and attacking my mom, right? They sure were. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up to them as they are groveled and, you know, on the ground. Okay. And um, as is not totally out of character for me, shoot them in the head. Okay. Go ahead and fire as a missile. Hmm. Do I sharpshooter this? Probably. To be fair, what I'm saying is, like, I'm right above them. But yeah. So, anyways. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Okay. A natural 20 hits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That one's not dead. You catch him right in the temple, and uh, he kind of falls back. His eyes kind of roll as he looks at you. That hits. He begins to speak as the second arrow flies, and he goes silent. So that one's dead. <laughs> Meanwhile, upstairs, on uh, the top of the ship, um, Camille, what are you doing? Um, there, so there's still one, one of these guys by Ham's mom. Yes. And he skips his turn. <clears throat> yeah, I still, I still want to hit him, though. Oh, yeah, go for, go for it. Go for it. Hit him. Can I wait? He's not going to be moving on his next turn. Yeah. Could I move in such a position that I could Eldritch Blast him into fire, so he just sits in it? Yeah. For for a round or two. Yeah, you could do that. Okay, cool. Let's do that. All right. Take four force damage, and we'll push him into fire. Yeah. He goes barreling in because he was on his knees and hits the wall as part of the roof collapses on top of him, uh, completely engulfing him on fire. He screams uh, out in oh. agony from it. I apologize. I thought they were I thought they were prone. They were. That's why he went barreling because he was on his hands and knees. Does that give him disadvantage because he's prone? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes, for ranged attacks unless you're within five feet. Okay. Oh, their turn was between defaults and mine? Well, we're not in initiative. We're just kind of storytelling. But um, we'll just say it hits because that was really freaking cool. <laughs> okay. Now, um, they're going to look at you, uh, Captain Dragonfell, and they're going to say, So, is this your home? This fiery wasteland below should we do something this is not my home my home is the sea but here we find a place where we build goodwill we will render aid and she begins to go above deck with the intention of ordering them to set down, recognizing that they can operate in the fire without concern. Okay. Um, the captain is going to look at you as you come up. Former captain. We haven't had that conversation with that captain yet. Um, no, I mean, we have. We completed the deal. They're, they made a pact, so... Yeah, it's. Uh, I have a little symbol in my hand. Okay, the former captain... Yeah! Yeah! who hasn't handed the keys over yet because, you know, That's all right. you just kind of flew through a lava volcano portal hole. Yep. Porthole. 
a punty, if you will. Fulfilling the conditions of the pact, right? A, a punty what? A punty hole. Oh. Yeah. Look it up. Oh. Or maybe oh. it's called a... Never mind. I don't know what oh. I'm talking about. Uh, Wait, are you asking me to Google search uh, punty hole images only safe search off? No, just ask what a, what a firebender calls the punty hole for glass blowing. That's uh, that's all I'm asking. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, so anyway, um, you come up onto the deck and you yell, uh, and Roz is going to say, "Okay, we'll help." You hear that, Genesis? We'll help. And he starts to set the ship down on one of the burning buildings. The building kind of collapses, um, and the air deflates from the balloon above. And all the Genesi kind of dive off and uh, essentially start helping. They don't really know who to help, but they're getting people out of fires. You see they're walking into fires and they're grabbing like puppies and coming out and like saving the town, essentially. Um, Somebody take a picture of this. This is good stuff. We're going to use this. <laughs> Where's Mercy? And then uh, you are. Sorry. It's all good. I, I I was just gonna look near the entrance of the portal. I'm going to try to see if there's a way that we can close it. Okay, make an arcana check as you're looking at this portal. Okay, so magma is currently spewing from it, but you do notice that um, the edges, as it kind of spews up and over, are starting to cool and starting to blacken. And you know, basically, given time, this thing will probably solidify and seal the vampire and the portal forever in feet of lava rock. Dark Raven TTV, what's up, guy? Good to see you. Now, Savvy, you're standing on the deck. The captain is going to look at you and he's going to reach out his hand to shake yours. And you see the, the outside of his hand is currently ignited in that flame symbol. She's going to take it. You'll see that. Before she does. Yeah. She's going to pause. You know, we will have need of a crew. <laughs> Gladly. Gladly. She'll take his hand then. The fire ignites around your hand as the flame starts to carve its way, almost like someone's dripping candle wax in the form of this flame on the side of your hand, and it bursts in bright light and then it disappears. Captain? Roz? Let us get to work. <laughs> he runs and jumps off the boat, grabs onto one of the chains, and slides down to help the rest of the crew. Um, and you can see they are joyfully working. Um, and then uh, you're going to see that this person who's bald and older um, is currently walking. And he is with his hands forming these weird sigils in the air and he's pushing fire out of his way and it's knocking over wagons and clearing a path as he slowly walks towards you. You see that he's wearing cloth armor, but in the same colors as the paladins. He's got a big rope belt around his stomach um, and he's got this uh, these wooden uh, beaded necklaces around his neck. Dang it. And as he's walking towards you, um, you could see uh, he's he's kind of scanning the area um, to see just all of the calamity that's kind of happened. Um, and then he sees you all. Um, and he sees you all on the ground. He sees Robin and Hamish. Um, see if I could do this. There we go. 
Um, hey, hey, Mish, you ever met this Inquisition uh, looking mofo? Did not expect him. <gasps> so. Hi. He does not look like a bitch. Not this one. Um, you may very well I make him one. Debatable. No, he's not a debate. He's just a nice, handsome fella. Um, so are you the one giving the orders? I he's... point at the bloody corpse on the ground and the one that's burning and maybe still screaming, covered in rubble. Those two said they were given orders. And we disagreed. We're a family. He's gonna he's not gonna answer. He's just going to kind of look at the two with the arrows in their head. Um and the other one who's currently dead and collapsed, his body sticking out of the fire and the rubble. I'm gonna bend down and say, Where's not want not? And uh, re retrieve the arrows. Oh, okay. At that, you're going to see he is going to slide his foot forward and put one hand up, almost like in karate style. Um, and I need you all to roll initiative. Are we about to old man fight? I try and mimic him. All right. Now, here's how we're going to do this. Um, we are going to use this map. And we're going to use our mind's eye, like old school D&D &D here. I'm I'm ready, Dungeon Daddy. All right. I don't do have this. a I don't have a token. To yeah, yeah. Don't roll. Don't roll initiative. 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 My bad. My bad. All right. Mercy. You told you told Hello? us to roll initiative. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> yeah, I know. I told you, and then I was like, wait, where are your tokens? Um. All right. There's Robin. There's Hamish. There's me. There's Savvy. I'm I'm There's Cammy. There's Mercy. Made Cammy. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like the the alternative word you use for okay. toddlers, where it's like, <laughs> I make Cammy. <laughs> I but I already made Cammy. <laughs> I'm not sleepy. You're sleepy. Okay. So, on top of the ship here, uh, we're gonna put this like this. And then you're here. And then Mercy, you're also on top of the ship. Oh, but we're in the waterfall. Okay, and then... Just around of a band. That is actually pretty accurate. Okay. All right, now Robin let's get a turn. Robin and in a waterfall? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're up there. It's a whole thing. Okay. Do a Pocahontas dive off. Okay, and then the best night of your life. Robin, what did you roll? I rolled an eighteen. And Savvy? Eleven point one four. And Hamish? Uh eight point one five. And Mercy? Fourteen point fourteen? Mm-hmm. Okay. But your first roll, that was an arcana. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Lemon toes. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <gasps> lemon. Lemon toes. Lemon. What was his name? Hi, lemon. Oh, hi, lemon. lemon Wait, do you need to pause for a second? Who's lemon toes? Hi, lemon toes. Lost in the frost. Lemon is. Can we actually a uh, uh, running bit? Can can we get a shout out for lemon toes in the chat? She's of a course. wonderful streamer who's incredibly incredibly wonderful and incredibly talented. Yes, lemon. Shout out for lemon. Are we gonna follow oh, lemon right now? Love lemon. Everybody, please go follow lemon toes. They're absolutely wonderful. And then immediately I'll, come back. I also see Ooh, Lost yeah. in the Frost in chat. That's another one, uh, one of my wonderful streamer friends. And Hi, uh, Lost in the Frost. Yeah. Oh. Let's, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing here. And give you a follow. Lemon Toes. Lemon Toes 3. Lemon, Lemon toes, toes the 3rd. I like that. Yeah, I do too. It has a sense of like elegance and royalty. Mm, yeah, Lemon Toes. Cool. Guys, guys, we're going to make Lemon Toes cry. That means we've got to go harder. Yeah. yeah. Do. Do. You're amazing and we love you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This old man NPC that we're about to kill is actually named Lemon Toes. 
Uh, well, I don't know about Wait. that. <laughs> whoa, 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 um, let, whoa. Lemon is my mom's. Lemon toast can be elegant. Responsible. Lemon okay. Is responsible for the Leon party emote. That All right, we're changing so up. Much, so. For real? That's so cool. Okay, Lemon Toes, welcome. Um, what's happening is lava has destroyed most of this town, and as the people are all fleeing with the help of the new crew um, of the Bowser ship um, and its new captain, Captain Dragonfell, who literally fell to dragon, um, this old man, this very friendly looking old man, um, walks through the fire, pushing it out of the way. Um, and squaring up with Robin and Hamish. Uh, Camille, you see this man only because the vortex of wind that he pushed um, like Ang from the last airbender. Ong. It's pronounced Ong. Like Ong. Um, Don't you dare. <laughs> like, I said it as a joke and it still hurt. It's yeah. pronounced Ong <laughs> 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 Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh. Uh, hey, thanks for the rainbow fire, Mopsy. We just turned it off and now it's back on. Thank you. All right. So, uh, Camille, you see him walking through. He hasn't said anything. And then he stops. He sees Hamish stick his boot on this dead person's head and pull the arrows out. Um, Question. Yes. Question. Yes. The, the, new, the new scene that we're in doesn't have rainbow fire. Oh. There you, there you go. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. And the ship there we go. is um, currently on the ground uh, with fire kind of erupting around it. As it mm. This new scene that we're in doesn't have <laughs> rainbow fire. Okay, we're going back. <laughs> we're just going back. We're back. You know what? Don't ignore what you just saw. Go back. <laughs> Wait, there, wait, it's back. This scene, this scene also doesn't. Have it has fire. fire. It's fire. There, there. But it this is. one has rainbow fire. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Lemon Toes. Uh, rainbow fire. I did that. <laughs> the graphics. Here. Okay. So, at the top of the round, it is currently your turn, Cammy. What are you doing with the information given to you? It's not sorted. Yeah, it's not. I was gonna say, wait, top of the round. Yeah. Okay, uh, I take it back, Robin. Yeah. With the information like given to you, what do you do? Oh, I look to him and I go, um, he's like definitely aggressive, right? Like I should, I should like oh, shut this down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, has anyone ever told you you look like a bitch? Uh, and that's my unsettling <laughs> words. <laughs> that's my last part of inspiration. Um. Uh. And I um, uh, I roll a d8, and this is what he gets a subtraction to on his next save, which is, ah, uh, it's just a three, so it's not great. But he's probably really good at this type of save, so I don't, I don't fully expect this to work, but I'm going to cast Hold Person on him. Um, okay. So he has to make a wisdom saving throw. He seems, he seems hey, yeah, Lord Sear, Lemon Toes, and everybody who just joined us, we have a rule on this channel, see? And that is found in our About page, and that is when there's a wisdom save, we all take a drink. <laughs> and um, oh. Camille does squats. I inhaled the last drop. That's true, I can do that. <sighs> okay, so you're threatening me right now with, <laughs> with a good time. Hold on. Okay. I'm also I'm I'm also doing squats. See, you can tell by the way, you can tell by the way that I'm going up and down. <laughs> I'm I'm doing the squats. You move your cam. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Your cam. Aww. Aww. Little possessive. I like it. <laughs> okay. So, um, he is going to succeed. Wait. Aww. Does he? He yes. did. Yes. He did. Oh, man. He has silvery barbs. So now he's got disadvantage. I had to upcast that. I had to use a second level spell to, to use that. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. My guy. He rolled an 11. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's currently held. But I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give uh Ham my uh my advantage okay. from the silvery barbs. So fuck him up. 
<laughs> See, a second level spell slot and it still feels so strong. That's crazy. I know, it's like it should be at minimum a third. I don't know, that just feels like that came to me out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. So, uh, it is now your turn, Mercy. As you can see, Robin casting magics as you're examining the lava from on top of the ship that is now docked. Um, what are you doing? Uh, and Savvy went down. Correct? Nope, Savvy's on deck now. She's on deck. Savvy's on deck. She just got the okay. keys to the boat. Oh, boy. Yeah. It, it looks like Ham and Robin have gotten themselves into trouble again. Well, we... then let's get them out. There's, I find there are a few the problems that cannons <laughs> can't fix. While oh, he's paralyzed again. Why must we can slightly hear you? Can you hear us? Oh no! Are we having technical difficulties? Okay, I've been we waiting. Gotta, to... We got a moment for this. Me. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back. Cool. That was a good turn. Thanks. Wait. <laughs> So I'm not sure what you heard. You said that they got themselves into trouble. Savvy said there are problems that cannons can't fix. He's held, he's paralyzed, and then a cannonball just blows him up. <laughs> Mercy, shoot him with cannon, Mercy shoot. does like this idea. Mercy's gonna go play the cannon. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Wait, say that again? You're gonna go point a cannon? Okay. I'm doing I'm doing quick maths. Just the sweetest little Oh yeah, yeah. There are structures with structural integrity uh, of varying degrees between you and or the cannon and the target currently. The city's forfeit anyway. <laughs> 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 All right. You see you see Hamish's house between <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's inside. But the window's open, so you're fine. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. If you actually look at the angle of everything as to where we're at, did you just um actually me? <laughs> oh, here it comes. On top of a roof. Here it comes. So by angle, especially since we're at Waiting the bottom, for it. I think for it. I think we'll, I think I'll hit. I think I, I'll hit it. I, I don't have the right glasses, but I have these ones. Oh wow! You can fix my my oh, floorboards. Actually, good job. The first stage of renovation <laughs> is demolition. <laughs> okay, 100%. Mercy. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Okay. One action or one turn to load the cannons. You load four of them. Well, you could load all eight. Really, <laughs> you're just gonna shoot in both directions. Um, and then on your next turn, you can fire the cannons. Wouldn't they okay. already be loaded? We didn't fire them. I was gonna say they uh, reloaded after their barrage. In, in Monk's defense, he did click the cannon, and I did see the cannonballs come out. So. Wasn't that cute? Wasn't that just absolutely adorable? <laughs> I love that toy. <laughs> no, please let me just give just just one round without cannons in the fight, no, please. No. <laughs> they no. The last time they fired the cannons, they hit a dragon. They haven't reloaded since that whole ordeal is very epic. But they only fire okay. the cannons on one it's side. Okay. It's can, okay. we least, I, can we at least get a, a luck roll to see what side is facing? Okay, but chat has to roll that it. That feels very good. That chat, very good. can you please hit right. exclamation point right. roll chat. 1d100. And oh, lemon. lemon, if you're still with us, roll 1d100 hey. by typing exclamation point roll space like 1d100. And we're looking for anything above 50. And those who watch this afterwards on YouTube, uh, hey, would yes. say, let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Okay. Yes. Okay. Screw you, YouTube. Screw you, YouTube. <laughs> For those of you who are watching YouTube, maybe you can hit the like button right now. We are not even going to say what number was rolled. It was amazing, and you missed it. You missed it. It was at least 53 higher than what we needed. Or 40. I don't do math. Okay. 
I said at least. Shut up. Shut up. Leon. Leon, cut that out and fix that. Okay. And edit. Okay. So you can have three cannons ready to fire because one of them fired at the dragon. Point blank. Okay. Valid. Yeah. Okay. So you go and you turn, you tell them, aim the cannons at that one single human being with no hair on his head. Yes. Yeah, hit him. And they go, adventure. Okay. Okay. Oh, captain, my captain, watch this. And then they're going to just roll, you know, for attack against this guy's AC who's currently being held. Can I assist? Yeah, you point. They, autom they automatically get advantage because he's paralyzed. Uh, uh, yeah, and I'm giving I'm giving good directions. Uh, okay. Okay. So a paralyzed creature is incapacitated, and creatures autom this creature automatically fails uh, strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature automatically have advantage, and uh, I'll save that last one for after we see what the roll is. I'm just going to say that uh, <laughs> Cannon Blast, I already know what the damage is. It's pretty fun. Yeah, do you want to tell me what that is? I remember seeing a lot of dice. It's, it's 69. Uh, it's 8d10 bludgeoning. Oh, oh uh, how about how about right. I just uh, throw right. this in here? Um, it's automatically uh, a crit. A because crit. It's automatically a crit. Uh, so but I it's thought... not automatically a hit. Well, so no, you crit. Have hit. crit. They, they have to hit. They have to roll to hit. And so if they hit... Then it's, it's an crit. automatic crit. Okay. If it hits, yeah. it's a crit. Okay. To hit is to crit. Nice. Okay. Hold on a second. I am going to... It's only a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Correct. Oh, Correct. damn. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, calm down. I'm giving you a freaking cool, cannon shot. Damn. I'm so Actually, I feel like... Right in front of me. Okay. I read that. He's... Were you reading paralyzed or prone? Paralyzed. Oh. So I don't know. I don't know why I didn't read that. It's literally right in front of me. <laughs> so he's currently like this, like no, actually yeah. he's more like this, but he's like yeah. stuck. Yeah. And as yeah. he's stuck, he looks at his eyes as the cannon goes, <laughs> and then he's How like, you bitch. I can't because he freaking held my person. I can't. What? Oh, look at that! And then the second one hits him in the gut. And he goes yeah. flying into the house like Loki. And then the third one hits in the house and also bumps him. Um, can someone roll damage? Savvy, yeah. roll damage because I don't know what I you said. Oh, okay, can I, I do it? Yes, you could do the damage. Yeah. Whatever yeah. Savvy said. How many was it? I don't remember. 6d10. 6d10? 8d10. I wish I could play the death sound from like the Lego games when your character just falls apart. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, get him. <laughs> Does taking damage remove the whole person? It'd be nice if nope. it did. No. No. Yeah. At the, end, at the end of their turn, he could try again. <laughs> at the end of his turn? Yeah. His Oof is right, Lemon. Oof is right. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's raining. Yeah. Okay, okay. He's alive. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's actually alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah! Cool. He's cool. he's still alive and bloodied. Uh, okay. Good turn, Mercy. Thanks. Bye. It's his turn. <laughs> Mercy, any any bonus actions, by the way? <laughs> Taunting is a free action. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to your new crew. Mercy is gonna hand Camille a healing potion. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. Bye. Okay, good. That was a good turn. It's now, it's now his turn. He has a name. I want to roll for the TM. <laughs> and then he, he's going to grab the wall and grab. Oh, 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 no. What? He doesn't get a chance until the end of his turn. At the end of his turn, uh, he can roll. Uh, so is it, is it, I, I okay, so he's currently team. he's currently like this, but on the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lemon! Thank you for the sub. You didn't have to do that. 
Ah, uh, sweet to lemon. Oh, by uh, the way, happy birthday, Lemon. <gasps> it's a birthday? It's a birthday! Happy, happy birthday, 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 birthday,
True. How far away am I? Uh, as far away as it says on the map. Just jump to him. Yeah. He's 40 feet away. I could jump to him. I do have amazing boots. Worth noting, you still do have to, when you jump, count your movement speed. Also, True. Savvy, yeah, it's not lost upon me that you're Captain Dragonfell. That made my heart yeah. skip a beat. Yeah. Yeah, you, wait until you, see what I, you can't wait until I can see. I, I have something planned that I think is going to make you extra happy. I'm already very happy right now. <laughs> um... I gave you a ship. I took away an entire city. <laughs> I think it's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hold my. I'm just gonna hold my attack action <laughs> when the guy eventually decides to pop his head out of the rubble. Here's open. That is currently burying his body. Yep. Uh, yeah, I I want to get two arrows in one in each eye. So that's, oh. that's the goal. Okay. That's the goal. Okay. Also, DM, what is Ham's mom doing? Um, She's got it going on. <laughs> stop, Hamish. You're not allowed to say that. I can't. can't stop. Okay, Hamish's well, stop. mom stop. is currently um, talking to Hamish, actually, and she's going to say, Son, you're killing the leader of the Judicers of Order. Oh, oh I, I think it's about time. You're killing the leader! You just put a cannon... Through his ribs. Oh. You actually <laughs> Son. I've been doing adventuring. This is getting out of hand. So, <laughs> so Gina, I, I feel like this is like end, end boss <laughs> level stuff. Anything. I feel like we are secrets breaking here. Oh, no. <laughs> Mom, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a dragon that came out of a portal and there's a, a whole bunch of lava fill in the town. I think we can talk about this later. <laughs> That's your so, turn. Gina. So, Tina, uh, <laughs> did you see the really cool thing I did? Do you want to, like, capitalize on that and, like, go hit it? No sleeping with my mom. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, Tina, you told him? I know you're a type. So, Tina, you told him about that, that one thing. No, stop it. She's going to slap you. Stop it. <laughs> oh, oh. You promised never in front of your son. Stop it. She, she hits with an eight. Don't make her use modifiers. Okay. So, Camille, it's your turn. What kind of strength modifiers is a druid have? Big bear form. You'll see. Yeah, she, she's an attractive dwarf. I've <laughs> seen that bear form before. Uh, oh, okay. Gosh, okay. Dang. Please help. Oh, no, 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 no. Camille. It works on two levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. <laughs> away. I'm out of that. Uh, dude, not a lot. Not a, not a lot I can go for. Um. Okay. I'm up in the ship. You're so, all up in it. Yeah. So I can. Yeah. Can I see where Ham is? Yes. And is Ham? Ham, did you just end up readying your attack? Yeah. yeah, he's got his arrow cocked and yeah. ready. Okay, yeah. so theoretically then. Ooh, you're saying there's a chance. I'm saying. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire uh, Eldritch Blast down at Mister Mister Man. Okay, you're firing oh. through the windows of Hamish's house, through all of the burning rubble, into a hole in a wall, oh, no. and there he is. Wait, wait, that was Hamish's house. Sure. <laughs> An even trade. <laughs> um, so he's. You said he's. Wait, prone. what about his? Yeah, he's currently <laughs> prone Ham, and. Ham, 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 prone. Yeah. Ham's dad is in that in that building. Dodina doesn't even flinch. She's like, good read, good riddance. <laughs> hey, Been looking for an excuse dad. to live, leave for years. <laughs> he's just like, well, Honestly, at least I'll never have to come place. Right. <laughs> She's, um, she like su suppresses a cheer. She's like, yes. Okay. Oh, so okay. 
Ricky. Uh, so I have disadvantage because he's prone, but I have advantage because he's paralyzed. So I'm going to shoot some some Eldritch Blast at him, flat rolls, okay, and see what we can do. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, no, nice, nice. Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we haven't seen his dad yet. You just ex <laughs> you shoot in a fiery explosion. All right. Cool. Yeah. No, what? What? No, I'm just I'm just lighting some things on fire. Don't mind me. Okay, this is this is other stuff that's happening. I was like, this is force damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just lighting things on fire because it's fun. Okay, second. That was almost <laughs> another one. I oh know. man, a thirteen doesn't That's hit 13. him. Thirteen. Yeah, I figured. All right. Well, that's all I got. All right. I'm not excited for you. I'm excited because I think I might have another turn. Robin. Yeah, another uh, another end of your turn to roll. Yeah. A wisdom saving throw. Yeah. I I just kind of like trundle over there. I'm like <laughs> tapping on my belly. Uh, I move thirty feet and I'm like. Whoa. You just got you got your hands in your suspenders. You're just... <laughs> yeah. I'm like. Oh, that's too bad. I can't get to him. Uh, he's about 10 feet away from me. Oh, if only I had a 15-foot cube that I upcast a third level. He's just a man. He's just a boy. Oh, okay. So he's got to make a con save. Mm -hmm. um, he rolled a 17. Okay, that'll save, but he'll he'll take half damage. But the already compromised building and structure that surrounds him will also take thunder damage. <laughs> you don't say. So you mean, maybe you mean Ham's house? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ham's house. now he's in Ham's house. <laughs> Gosh, dang it! Maybe this section of Ham's house is <laughs> collapsing down and falls. <laughs> He's destroying the evidence, guys. Okay. Like, it's so fucking clear. <laughs> Mrs. Toxin, can you please roll 1d20? I want to see if this house stays on its feet. Exclamation point, roll, space, 1d20. <laughs> Sorry, Hamish. I don't know how this became your house, but I'm, it's canon now. You said, you said it. You said. I, there was a, there was a house between... There's a house between you the ship kill, and the fight. You just want to kill daddy, don't you? Mm. Yeah, there was a house, and then I said I fired oh, you. were like, yes, all right, daddy. you shoot through hey. the windows of Ham's house. <laughs> Can someone in chat roll 1d20? I don't know if Miss Toxin got it. Wait, what's what's the, what do we, they have to get? Under, over, what's the DC? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but it's higher. It's like between 16 and 20. Yeah. I got I him know. to tell us. If nobody else, hey, Lemon Toes. Okay, the house stands, but crooked. Hey, that's a good thing. That's a good that's thing. A good, that's a okay. good thing. Okay. Yeah, 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 All right. A little bit to one side is normal and okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. We didn't want to destroy Le Mercy. <laughs> you're no, down. Still, they still take half damage. Mercy, that's you're you're down below lemon. the deck. Monk, did they take half damage? The shit or the house? No, yeah. Oh, uh, the monk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the guy, the bald guy. Yeah, he did. Uh, is he visible now? No. He's okay. still in. He's stuck. I mean, I was just thinking. You know, Mercy the calls blast, blast up the debris to, and just to Camille. Is he dead? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you did just see Robin, like, <laughs> thunder blast the house. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Uh, Robin's going to get him soon at some point, I imagine, <laughs> if not. <laughs> okay, can I, through the um, porthole, can I see what the ham's house? Uh, Yeah, ham's you can see the house, yeah. Yeah. You can and see the footpath. How far away is it? Uh, as far as you are from the guy. Yeah, how far am I from the guy? All right, you are 70 feet. Okay. Thanks for letting me know that, Miss Toxin. Fantasy KFC does have fantasy chicken. As a matter of fact, this week's 
episode is brought to you by Michael Jordan and KFC. Eh, why not? I'm going to reload the cannons. Reload yeah. the cannons for adventure! Uh, yeah. Okay, good turn. All right, I'm going to roll to get out of this. It's a I'm wisdom. It's a no, I'm roll roll for you. too late. Too late. No, it's spent. It's spent. <laughs> you didn't say what the roll was. It was an eighteen. Go uh, ahead. Well, Go so ahead. Is what is it? it was. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. <laughs> I feel for you. I feel for your monk. This is like I'm All right. blind in my beholder. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, <sighs> it's fine. Like you absolutely love to see it. It's fine. You know, like <laughs> he's not mad. I mean, you're firing cannons <laughs> at a human. Savvy, it's your turn. <laughs> He's break. the leader of an order of anti-magic people who want to murder us. Yeah, and today was a like really good day for him because he's like, magic is happening everywhere. Yeah, and then it wasn't <laughs> such a good day. For him. <laughs> yeah, and then he realized that he fucked up. He's like, maybe I'm on the wrong out. side. Maybe, maybe they're right, and I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> who am I? All right, Sav, you're up. Savvy. Savvy is going to bonus action use a good familiar host passage to poof back down to the bottom deck of her ship. Oh, to Captain! Saunter over to the to the grate below, and she's going to yell below deck. Fire the cannons! It's not even going to be like loud and emphatic. It's just going to be relieved. You said it was an action to load and an action to fire. I'm using my action to fire. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'll allow it. I'll allow it for consistency. Typically, you can't fire into the next round, but you're firing a cannon at this dude. Go ahead. Uh -huh. This time, you'll have four cannons. Uh -huh. Let's go. And a very clear path. Let's go! Yes. So, uh, just to kind of throw it out there, I mean, let's just go one at a time. How about that? How about, how about that? Yeah. How about that? What's their bonus to hit? How about that? Yeah, I was gonna say, what's the bonus to hit? Um, for a cannon? Uh-huh. Plus a, a 70? No, I would, let's, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna roll 4d20. But and we're gonna see where it lands. Yes, well, that's. Look, if it helps you at all, this is technically a ranged attack, and he is prone. You're right. You're right. But we You're get right. advantage. I mean, really, just fire at the house. Oh, yeah. You know, like. So it's just zero. Okay. Yeah, I just did that. I None of those hit, but they all hit what the house. What about their bonuses? Yeah, yeah what were the bonuses? bonuses? Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, ship. Hmm. D and D five. E. Usually it's based on like a crew skill, but that's an abstract modifier. Hey! So hey. put it this way, I wager there can be at least a couple. So I wager it would be. Hey! I, a sailing vessel has a plus six. Oh, wait, why are we saying yay? Because hey. we're getting raided! Hey. Hello, hey. raiders! Hey. Hi, everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for the follows. We're shooting cannons Thank at you. people. Yeah. Lost yeah, in the like, frost, the rated with nine? Monk, do the thing, give the spiel, introduce. Go, go, go. Yeah, oh, hi. Uh, hi, Lemon. Hey, everybody. Hi, Lemon. My name's Junior Monk, uh, and this is Gaming related The Lost Pages. This is a D&D &D shenanigan campaign. Uh, super emotional stuff, trust me. Um, and uh, this is this is our crew. This, these are our players. We're actually about to go to the halftime show, which I'm so stoked for. Um, and I understand that you guys all love Leon, and so do we. So thanks for the raid. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Make yourself at home. And Adumba, Vante next door, thank you for the follows. Thank you. Let's go. They're currently assassinating a human. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's the least subtle assassination you've ever seen. Yeah. With cannons. <laughs> okay. Hey, Monk, does a 16 hit? 
We're, no, a 16 doesn't hit. But we're going to give them a plus three to each cannon. So, so does an 18 hit? An 18 hits. So they got two hits. Two hits. Two out of four cannons go flying through the sky and do how much damage? So the first one does 39. Oh, my gosh. Oh, He's got one man. hit point left. He's alive. He's alive. That was the first, the first one. one. That was the first The two. second one. <laughs> May I make a request for the... Oh, never mind. It's already rolled. You're not allowed to do anything. <laughs> so uh, this, the, ne the second hit does 55. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he dies with... Wow. <laughs> can, we roll, can we roll the other two damage and deal that to ham's house <laughs> so as Why he screams out in pain house? as he screams out in pain his hands stay stiff and as he collapses and his eyes roll back in his head the house just folds sideways like a card like a card house and just collapses down on top of him this big poof of smoke goes up into the air and immediately ignites um <laughs> And then you see these two chickens just fly off. This man that's done doing his little karate cut pose, right? He's just got two cannonball-sized holes in him, almost cartoonish in nature. They just plunge right through. <laughs> Is it is this is this because is this because my parents did the sticky? Is that why? <laughs> they know. No, it's because your parents were rude, and specifically your father was a dick. I hope he was in the house. You anyway. Sammy calls down below. Wow. It's like, whoa. That, that was some great shooting. <laughs> gonna, get, gonna get to shoot. Oh, uh, Monk, I think it's actually uh, his turn. Oh. It's not his can turn. I, oh. Can I provide some context real quick? Uh, yes, for please. For just joining us, there's this order in, in, the, in the story that we've been scared of for a very long time because they hate magic users, and that's like the whole party. They're not done. Um, that, was, that was their leader, uh, and we just bullied him into a paste. Yeah, you he did. didn't even attack <laughs> once. <laughs> We took an airship. We took we took a boss fight, a potential boss and fight. And you fired four cannons at him. And we fought. So we fired four. it was bullying, one hundred percent. Um, you're gonna see Hamish. Uh, his dad is going to. Um, he better. He better be. He's alive. going to run out of the house. Like, what, what the, the fuck was that? <laughs> Just He's trying to put house. on his suspenders <laughs> as the house collapses. He was in the house for like five cannonballs. <laughs> <laughs> his fault. He could have left. He could yeah. have left. I don't disagree with you. Dad, we'll have an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dress, they were preoccupied before the cannons started firing. Mom had full time it? to get in her regalia. She's used she to was, it. She Heavy was sleeper. In the environment. She was making like water come out of the air. Yes. Yeah, you're, 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 your dad was, was done, so he was out cold. <laughs> yeah. Some yeah. some other dwarf comes running out. One hundred percent. This this screams of adultery. <laughs> He's okay. Up his ah. Let me let me pause my, here. My family life is destroyed. Um, a couple things. Your house. It matches your house. Well, guess it, guess who's going Wait. back to 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 freaking. I can't even remember the name of the city. Guys, a double no, meaning to no, this you're, was a you're going to once. an airship. Savvy, I got a new home for you. Well, Savvy, I am, what about Savvy, my parents? Savvy the captain. Savvy Dragonfell. Savvy the home wrecker. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Pirates have many oh, names. Lord. Um, oh. I, I yeah. <laughs> the unburnt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got very comfortable with a lot of stuff really quickly. It's true. Um, <laughs> Fable Blade, thank you for being our 180th follower we just hit our goal thank you so much we have been streaming for five months every wednesday night at 7 30 mountain standard and uh it's amazing and a lot of this came from leon and his whole um family and friends like his whole environment that you've created has been awesome so welcome everyone who's just joined us uh Congratulations to everyone at Gaming Related. Uh, this is an incredible milestone for us, and we're grateful we couldn't have done it without you. So, 
a million million thanks i hope you're having fun um yeah that just happened um now on to the chaos <laughs> yeah so uh just the halftime show we are going to have a halftime show. We don't, we do take a break, but um, Soren Angel is the host of the Fireweed Inn and Tavern halftime show. And she has something very special planned for us tonight. Um, we're going to introduce her, but I just got the video. So what I need you to do is ignore what I'm about to do because I can't do it without stopping the stream. I have to go to the page. I have to upload the video and then we're going to introduce her. So uh talks amongst yourselves yes can leah I, can, can i throw out just one thing for, yes for frost as a thank you for the raid mm -hmm. yeah. bacon, thank you bacon, frost bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. yeah that's for you and yeah <laughs> and if we're technically ending the stream um can i just say thank you to everybody on our, our we're not ending the page. stream oh well uh, you technically are <laughs> We're not and, gonna end uh, the stream. I'm gonna keep going, but you're just gonna watch me edit I behind the scenes. Going. If, we're, if we're gonna keep going, <laughs> oh, maybe, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe, uh, I yeah. was confused. I'm not stopping the stream. Say we're ending the stream. Uh, then? No, I'm saying I can't that would make me so end sad. the stream. I cannot end the stream. I have to. But you're gonna see what I'm doing in the background. So talk amongst yourselves. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be doing some some stuff over here. Do you guys remember when we absolutely clowned the big bad evil guy? <laughs> yeah. 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 That was pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, I shot. I shot him. I shot him with cannons, guys. I know. Oh my god! And for that, you will be given the title of Master Gunner. <laughs> Hell yes, Mercy I, Master Gunner. What? What am I gonna be? What am I gonna be? I just, I just sat there with an arrow pointed at my house. <laughs> I, I was too busy <laughs> thinking about Ham's mom. <laughs> what? What's my? What's my? Uh, my uh, role on? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Can I be to my mom? <laughs> yes. Can what do you want to do to Ham's mom? mom? Can How I do you want to do this? Mom's handler. You want to handle my mom? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm the master Ham mom handler. Ham mom handler. <laughs> master, master mom handler. <laughs> master mom handler. <laughs> master mom handler. <laughs> okay. I hate all of you. <laughs> Robin, but what if you're, what if you don't have a mom? <laughs> Oh, hey, Soren's on screen. Okay, so, hey. <laughs> yeah, we are we are going to, uh, players, uh, we are going to take our break <laughs> now. Uh, come back in about 15. Uh, everyone else who's tuning in, stick around because the halftime show starts meow. Hello everyone, we want to welcome you all back to the Fireweed Inn and Tavern. I'm your host Soren, and this is our show within a show, and we appreciate you all joining us. So today we'll be starting a very, a very new halftime show series, but before we do, we'd like to give a shout out to some talented artists and our meme makers of our community. So as you may have already noticed, we have some beautiful artwork hanging in our tavern, courtesy of Puck Wedgie, Soft Brambles, and LunaBear09. You will also notice the many legendary memes created by our amazing viewers like Ico, Book the Raccoon, and Mr. Mini Mopsy. If you are an artist and you create fan art or a legendary meme, we would love to see it. If you visit our gaming related Discord, you may post your artwork in the Community Art channel and your top tier memes in the Memes RS channel. For those not using Discord, you can share your artwork by tagging us on Twitter and TikTok. For formatting purposes, landscape orientation is preferred, but not required. And if you do share your fabulous art, it may be featured in a future episode of Gaming Related Hanging in Our Tavern. Now we're going to be moving on to our new segment. So at the start of this season, we answer some D&D questions with our expert knowledge, of course. And for the past several weeks, we've gotten to know the lovely members of our cast and crew. But for our next series, the Fireweed Inn and Tavern will be brought to life. For the coming weeks, you are all invited into our tavern where our fantastic barkeeps will be making handmade brews and potions inspired by our player characters and some NPCs. Whenever I personally stop by the Fireweed, I always order their weekly special. And seeing as you're headed that way, grab one for me too if you don't mind. Just tell them to put it on my tab. After your visit with Freya, you'll join me back here for a taste test and a critique 
then we'll release a poll to decide which character or NPC will be next week's inspiration. Without further ado, please enjoy the very first episode of the Fireweed Inn and Tavern brought to life. My name is Freya. Welcome to the Fire Within and Tavern. Soren sent you here for the special, did she not? Well, lucky for you, we've got a new special in this week. And our specials are derived from whomever the bards decide to gossip about. No, off you go. Carry on. Well, as barkeeps here at the Fire Within and Tavern, we strive to create the very best brews and potions for all of your needs. Today's special is inspired by a tall blue guy named Gaff. Now, Gaff may have done some questionable things, but who am I to judge? Let's get started, shall we? All right, you'll need your Hawthorne strainer, your jigger, and of course, your Boston shaker. You will also need a coaster and a lovely beer mug. I chose this glass one, but you can choose any that you've got handy. Moving on to spirits. Now you're going to need vodka and blue curacao. The non-alcoholic component in this beverage is going to be your favourite lemonade. So to our Boston shaker, we are going to add one ounce of vodka. We will also add one ounce of blue curacao. Next, you will add roughly four ounces of your favorite lemonade. To our Boston shaker, we are going to add two to three scoops of ice. Give it a good shake. <laughs> then to our beer mug, we are going to add some more ice. Using the Hawthorne strainer, pour your lagoon into your glass. You may choose to top off your drink with lemonade if you wish. This is a gaff-inspired lagoon, so we will be adding swords. These are some hairpins that I bought at the fair a while back, but they work perfectly for this beverage. Skewer three blue Sour Patch candies on the sword, then place them in the lagoon. 
And there we are. Alright, there we have it. Two lagoons inspired by a tall blue guy named Gaff. One for you, of course, and one for Soren. And tell Soren a huge hello from her friend Freya here at the Fireweed Inn Tavern. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time. Soren, oh, you are right. back. <laughs> yes, I'm back again. That was amazing. Uh, I won't interrupt. The, I'm awestruck. Continue. All right. All righty. So thank you, Freya. Let's give this brew a taste. So let's see. So let me hold this up. See if you can see it. We've got our sword in here. Um, we'll give it a taste. You know, I actually do like this one. It's like, I know citrus isn't any, like everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's really nice. Um, it's not super abrasive and it kind of masks the alcohol taste pretty well. So if you're like me and you prefer a drink without a super strong alcohol taste, you might give this one a go. Um, I would rate this drink a solid eight out of 10. So I think, you know, I think that's pretty solid, uh, solid, Solid rating for this one. It's not the best, like the highest rating I could give a drink. I think uh, I've had some better in the past, but it's pretty good. I would go for this on a night out. Let's see. Oh, as we start wrapping up our halftime show, I am going to be putting a poll in a chat. So you all will be able to let's see here. You all will be able to vote for the next um inspiration for the beverage for the next real life tavern show so here we are let's put our full responses here all right and here we are all right the poll is out and you will have one minute to decide who will be the inspiration for the next real life tavern show and while you cast your votes, I will start wrapping up. So thank you all for hanging out with us in the Fireweed Inn and Tavern. We want to take a moment to recognize those who popped in chat so far today and the followers gained so far in our 24th episode of Gaming Related. So please forgive me if I mispronounce your name. I will try my very best to get them right. First up, we have Lord Sirid, Lemon Toes 3, Happy Birthday Lemon, and thanks for the sub, Dark Raven TTV, Mr. Mini Mopsy, Pakwaji, Boop the Raccoon, Mrs. Toxin, Lost in the Frost, thank you for the raid, Brute 6 Loops 9, we'll have Wolf Demon 32988, Vonti Next Door, Fable Blade, thank you all for the follows and the raid, that was super awesome, and also thank you to the cast and crew. Those of you returning, welcome back, and to those of you new to gaming related, welcome, we are happy to have you all here. So, before we direct your attention back to Monk in the Lead cast, don't forget to check out our social media platforms on TikTok, YouTube, Discord, and Twitter for clips, announcements, and other fun content. Alright, let's see here. Did I not release the poll? I don't know. You did, and it you looked, did. Did. looked like okay. Hamish won. Good. Okay, I was making sure. So Hamish won, huh? Perfect. All right. So next week's potion will be inspired by Hamish. And thank you all for joining us for the 24th intermission show. We hope to see you next Wednesday at the same time. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the second half of Gaming Related.
Oh, Soren, that was awesome. That was awesome. That makes me I'm want to get Mercy it. all set up, and I don't have time, and it makes me sad. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that over the weekend. It's pretty good. I literally yeah. just sat back down, but I'm sure it was great, and I can't wait to watch the highlight. Seriously, you Seriously. didn't watch it. <laughs> I was. I had to go to the bathroom. My fiance is <laughs> going to bed. Like, oh. I mean, I get it's a halftime show, and that's what it's for. But come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know at the end I just ran to the bathroom. I was like, "All right, time to go to the bathroom." Now. <laughs> Same. Same. Uh, okay, I I can't put the window up fast enough, but uh, Soren, that was absolutely amazing. You looked amazing, and I wasn't expecting you to take a drink live. I thought that was going to be part of the video. That was so cool. Um, yeah, Freya was so cool. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Unlike, also, yeah. we'll definitely yeah. post the ingredients and everything on yes. the Discord and yeah. our Twitter, uh, so Discord. that those. Yeah, yeah. And, and also join our Discord. Yeah, we have a Discord. <laughs> those who are new now, we have a Discord. <laughs> you can join us. <laughs> and we do a, a post session chit chat. So if you want yeah. to come chit chat with us, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, link is it down below. So click it and be become our friend yes please we i can't wait for us to chat I'm after the game this. why do you people keep letting me talk <laughs> no i don't want to stop you <laughs> great. wait wait mercy can you tell them about all the other uh, social medias and stuff we have as well yeah yeah yes yep. we are on twitch we no th this is we're on twitch <laughs> right now by the way Surprise. yes we are currently it's happening we're on I'm twitter place <laughs> We're on YouTube, Discord. Um, we're also on TikTok. Very rarely, we're working on that. We're sorry. We have we're adults. Oh yeah, I, I'm not sorry. I'm never sorry. <laughs> cool. Firmly unapologetic. Hey. Speaking of Twitch, by the way, I know September is over, but there's still an opportunity you can take advantage of if you'd like to sub to the channel and get these wonderful emotes made by our very own resident Puckwudgie. Uh, yeah. It's that if you have an Amazon Prime account, you have a free Twitch sub that you can use every month. And look at all this work. Look at everything around us right now that Monk poured his blood, sweat, and tears into putting together. Isn't that worth a sub? And it doesn't even cost you anything. Just saying. I love it. Welcome the boat to Linguini. Linguini. What is Gap doing? We got a new screen? follower. Hey. Here's why Gaff's on the screen, everybody. Gaff is on the screen because he we is one of the coolest is. first NPCs that really made his mark on this campaign. Oh, he made a mark. Way back oh, when. Yeah. He, yeah. he made a mark, all right. Bark. He's the priest. I still have his shield. He yeah. did make a bark. <laughs> he do. I had his sword, and then I ate it. Yeah, you did. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I ate it. Did. I ate his sword. The yeah. priest of the Church of Creation. May like he rest him. in peace wherever he is. Oh, so you, you admit he's dead? <sighs> no, he's just not. With I us. hope he's. I hope he's on the road, begging okay. for assistance, <laughs> like the bitch he is. Moving on. Thanks for the drink. I love him. I'm never, not a never sword forget. or shield because we took it from him. Scrounging for whatever work that somebody will trust him to, because all he does is get people killed bereft of self-confidence because he is an incompetent leader that is the fate of gaff love it do you your heart didn't seem in that no. right there. i'm just trying to move along because i'm like he's been beat up enough right move along, I let, know speaking of beating up let's talk yeah. about the leader of the judicars of order <laughs> yeah. we didn't even learn his name yeah this unnamed <laughs> leader all he did was walk up and be bald <laughs> yeah, that's all he did. That is literally all he, he did. He did also. He did also ready like he was. He was ready. <laughs> yeah, he to made attack. one kung fu move, yeah. which yeah, was he just put his hands up. That could be enough. You did also say his I've name seen Ong, plenty so. of kung fu movies to know that. It's, Will someone draw a blue arrow on his forehead, please? I, I yes, think say no it. more. I think that I'm Mercy took the right course of action. Honestly, <laughs> like the the immediate inclination to fire cannons, spot on. He's blue all over. <laughs> okay. So, um, there you go. Ong is dead, and your mom, Dodina, is gonna come and say, "You, you have, 
no idea how long I've been playing the slow game. And within a day of you being here, you've overturned the Judicars, destroyed the city, and you brought that. Um, and as she points to the ship, you see the crew of the Bowser all standing on the ledge of it. You see that some of them have actually grabbed some people and carried them up the ladder and up the planks onto the ship. Um, as like Noah's Ark, this is Brittle Hollow's Ark, uh, these people are being um, rushed up there. And then you catch it, Hamish, a glint, a blue flicker on one of the rooftops. Um, leaping through the air is this giant firefly cat. Um, <gasps> as it lands at your feet uh, and begins to f uh, purr at you, um, you see Syl in all her glory. Um with you oh I'm while his give her a while his hug. dad is screaming and yelling about what has happening yep uh he's fine yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tina. hey i think it's time to have that talk hi yay yay welcome uh, Tortina, i think one of two things maybe a little bit of column a and b either we're really good at our jobs or you're really bad oh Sil, i love you so much Robin, she, such a good cat. she wraps her arms around you. You see a tear coming oh, from her eye. This is. Uh, <laughs> she pushes your face away. No, I'm trying to say thank you. You're right. You're so right. I have been so long without magic that I just I've learned to pretend. And you see, she's got these green. Uh, flowy energies coursing through her hands as she says no more no more um and she's gonna run over and she's gonna say hamish you've grown up me boy you've grown up so much thank you and she's gonna give you a kiss on the cheek <laughs> i love you mom i love I'm you too glad, son i'm glad you are finally able to see that. No. And then you're gonna say, you're gonna oh, hear, God. what the fuck is happening? Yeah, Hamish! Yeah. Yep. And you're gonna see your dad walking towards you as fast as he can. He's not wearing a shirt, he just has suspenders on. And as you all see his chest, it looks very much like Hamish, except rounder. Uh, and he is <laughs> gonna grab you around the waist and lift you up off the ground. Me boy, you're alive. I thought I lost you. Dan, again, don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm not sure this is. Harry, come here. And you all see the, the father and son embrace as Hamish, the dwarf um, that's as tall as a human, um, hugs his father sort of. who's as tall as a dwarf. Um, <laughs> me boy, listen, I... I told you we were going on adventures. No, your mother told me everything. She's a druid, son. A oh, real oh, life oh, druid. What? <laughs> That's amazing. No way. It's amazing, that. It's true. And a damn good one. A damn good one. No. This, this town. Would is currently been. on fire, and we should probably get out of it. Uh, okay, we we'll do this I'm later. Gesture to the lava. We'll, oh oh yeah, you know you're right. We'll, we'll do this later. We'll do this later. But that um, I love you. I've always loved you, Hamish. You know that, right, Junior? Uh, I. But you know, when you're going to be falling into a pit of lava and then uh, fighting the dragon and uh, Who's making that noise? Yes. Stop it. You're on the ship. <laughs> oh, no. it's, it's kind of kind of hard to hear because Savvy's really far away, but it, I think it went something like this. <laughs> you sound like a balloon. Okay, okay. You know what? We'll do this later, son. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. Yeah, you should probably climb on that airship. I know the captain. She'll be... Um, She'll put up with it. 
Uh, and Todino, I'll help you. Uh, I'm the master mom handler. Uh, so I'm, it's my legal obligation to help you on the <laughs> ship. So who the hell... I didn't ask for a necklace. <laughs> well, he had a name, and I'm not going to give it to you. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Hey, Tortina, do you know this guy's name? Uh, yeah. Not, we're going to call him Bitch the, no, for it, the rest of the campaign. His name was Rostov. Rostov? Yeah, his name was Rostov Ironhand. Rostovarian? <laughs> <laughs> no. So it sounds like. <laughs> no. It was not. He's not. He was not Rastafari. He's Rastafari. Damn it. I was going to say. No. It looks Rost like. He, I was going to say it looks like he's he had some trouble shaking the Rost off. But... <laughs> Someone died today. Stop. Let's. Iron hand! <laughs> Rust the furry hand! <laughs> I, can't that. I got to go get my arrow out of that guy's skull. I'll bring that back. Stop get retrieving arrows, son. We can make new arrows. Literally, stop it. That is the goriest thing I've ever seen in my life. Just stop it. Everyone get on the ship. It's an amazing flying ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, you all climb aboard. <laughs> so, you're all back on the ship. It's Wait, super don't say cool. It right. Say it right. We're all back on the what? On the, I don't. I can't even understand what you're saying. What are you saying? The new, the new name of the ship is Rostov Iron Hand. That's the name of the that, no. That's the name of an NPC. That might attract a little attention. Why don't we just call it the Rastafarian? Yeah, yeah. We're on the Rastafarian. The Rastafarian. Look, I need it you to. Like safari. I need you to sleep on that because you're gonna have this ship for the foreseeable future and for it's every. Canon. Okay. I think that you misunderstand the way that ship naming works. We can always just take a new coat of paint. Oh, okay. <laughs> we won't. But we never but will. We could. So, okay. so, and that, so we're, we're back on the what? One more time. The Rastafarian. Yeah. So Savvy, Quick. Savvy's sitting there <laughs> on the deck of the ship. She's and she said, you know what I just thought would be a really strong name? I was thinking, you know, something like an iron hand, but then it came to me as if it were like a bolt of lightning, the Rastafarian. <laughs> How's it sound? It feels like... Feels like that idea came out of nowhere and just bonked you in the head like a like a cannonball. <laughs> I don't think we should shoot Honestly, any more cannonballs. Do we have? We have a limited have a supply left. of cannonballs. That is right. We should. I know where we can get more. Do we want to like shoot him a couple more times though? <laughs> no, that would yeah. be a waste of cannonballs. Like I said. No. But, like, what if he's still still moving? We don't know. Yeah, can I go check him out, no, actually. don't check. Just leave him. Just leave him. Yeah. I want to go check him out. Yeah, let's go check him yeah. out. Let's his, go. his body's inside out from cannon holes. He's dead, dead. Sick. He's dead, he dead. I want his stuff. Can we loot? Oh my gosh, you're gonna loot him. <laughs> well, he's the leader. He's the leader. he's the leader of this whole big organization. He's got uh, some cool shit. He does. Give me his drip. <laughs> Well, okay. What's not broken? I mean, if he's got a book, it's covered in blood and viscera. All right, all right. His, his drip is so, literally covered in dripping blood. blood he is gonna oil. have. Yeah. He's gonna have two nunchucks. Hell yeah! Those are, those are workable. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. He has two nunchucks. Um, he has yeah, nunchaku, please. <laughs> Get out right now! Do not do that. Uh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> he has. We have, we have to rename the ship. The ship's now known as Ninjago. <laughs> He's got. Wait, Ninjago? Like Lego Ninjago? Wow. <laughs> I think that's copyright. I don't think we can take that. The SS Fantasy Lego Ninjago. Yes. It seems like a long name, but I'm on board. He's got um, a, a wooden beaded necklace. It's tingling with magic. <laughs> um, and uh, 
and that's it. That's all he carries on him. The rest, and he's got fifty gold. You know. Mm. Yeah. And he's got a. And he's how got about a map. his? Uh, oh, he's got a map too. How about how about his Goonies? Um, in the city. Grab his private map. Throughout the city, I mean, <laughs> eventually you guys save everyone, and then you're like, hold on, I'm gonna go loot the dead. Um, yeah, 100%. 100%. That's not even subtle. No, you send your crew because they're fire resistant. <laughs> they're like, yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I mean, even, even, I mean, again, if Savvy, I, you're on top of the ship. Seen... Oh, no, you're no, not. No, she teleported down right. and then she actively decided that what I really need people to see is me to pull armor off of a corpse yeah. and then don it immediately. That's what I need. I'm looking for half plate. Yeah, you're going to find uh, charred half plate. But a little well, elbow I, grease. I can, I can fix there's, that. There was a paladin body that I remember shooting twice in the face. Yeah. That might that have sounds, some. Yeah. That sounds like a if, gift, if Hamish, only, and it will go it, appreciated. I'm yeah. taking it. I'm Except taking it's, it for it's yellow and gold, so it kind of looks ugly. No offense, Leon. It can be reprinted. I can fix it. <laughs> I'm taking it for the lady. Oh, okay. Half plate. Your captain, you The mean? lady dragon fell. <laughs> For, for Lady Dragonfell, she deserves a high quality half plate. Uh, Wait, what kind of armor? What kind of armor can Mercy wear? As oh, an artificer? Plate. Si yep. si um, si medium. Plot armor. That's me medium, I believe. Plot yes. armor. Plot <laughs> armor. <laughs> um, so if one of those two had a half plate, does the other one have half plate? Yes. <laughs> Mercy half plate. Oh, we're also putting me in armor. The SS Bionicle Fable? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to sleep on a name of a ship. SS because Bionicle. We can, we can land on something pretty yeah. great, I'm sure. I see what you did there. I will I will bring golden half plate to Mercy as he okay. brings golden half plate. To... Deal. That's I'm, I'm, I'm practicing with nunchucks. <laughs> yeah, make, a, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, please hit yourself in the hip. You'll have disadvantage. This is not like juggling balls. <laughs> I mean, it kind pull, of is. Pull a Star Wars kid and just hit yourself right in the junk. Please. Please. No, I want chat to roll for you. Chat, will you please roll 1d20? What's your modifier on Dex? If he hits himself in the hip. Mopsy, I want you to roll for me. Nunchuck your nuts, Mopsy, do it. Your nuts. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, Robin looks freaking badass. He's like actually <laughs> twirling nunchucks right now. <laughs> the thing is, you don't know how to stop. So in the meantime, it looks really good. Just like you're just gonna have to let go. Yeah, trying to ball it. Oh my gosh! Go she rolled she rolled again. You're doing even better. No, oh, that's my 15 and a 19. You're doing great. You're doing so good. Oh, so was dexterity the saving roll. throw. Yeah, dexterity saving throw. I get a plus five. Yeah, so, yeah, it, it looks, looks good. Fucking amazing. It's good. <laughs> Sil, Sil is gonna say, "Amigo, that uh, that's pretty incredible. Uh, what you can do just now. Uh, where were you all? You you kind of left me high and dry. I thought I was gonna wait for minutes. I ended up waiting for hours." Do you she know talking how to me? Dude, she's talking to all of you? She's on the deck and near the crystal us. ball. Uh, you can comprehend right. all languages. We can no, no, no. Talk to no, her hold, now. Hold on, hold on. <gasps> Sil. I, I, this is an imposter because I remember Sil spoke French. No, no it's a, it's a Spanish accent. The, sometimes hey, we is like a French. Was pretty French. <laughs> okay, she was pretty well, French. Listen, that's I a. I think it's imposter. So I, I remember this. Hold on, hold on. I, I oh, roll initiative. Un momento, wait, wait, that's, wait, 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 wait. that's a dig at me <laughs> because I was trying to make her Spanish. <laughs> Are you saying my Spanish accent sounds French? <laughs> yes. And I, I roll initiative on the fake Sil imposter. No! I don't know how to do. I don't know how to speak French. I don't know how the I'm French. I'm pretty sure. croissants and baguettes. I'm pretty sure a hon 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 exited your lips the mm -hmm. last time we talked to Sil. <laughs> it literally did. Sil goes was, back to her corner and sits down and cleans her paws. You know what? There like, goes that whole role play. Boys, I'm leaving. But, but, Goodbye, Sil. So. No, you can't. You made fun of her language. 
<laughs> I didn't make fun of my language. Okay. I sure did. I would never That's make fun of Sil. I'll go to the shame Maybe. corner if it means Ham can talk to Sil. Uh, uh least, I am missed to you. That's I go to the shame corner as well, and I'm like, please, somebody help. I'm just a so <laughs> Who just pss, 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 my Sil? <laughs> Not just pss, pss, Mrs. Oh, Lex is like, pss, 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 pss. <laughs> Dead. Gosh dang it, it's my wife. My wife. My wife. Yeah, I got him. Uh, so, uh, before before I go talk to Sil and oh, before yeah. my dad talks to me about adventuring, I am going to go up to Savvy um, with what I presume to be empty half plate. Okay. <laughs> it's okay if it's only <laughs> mostly empty. I, I know Savvy won't mind. Um, and... Uh, I'm gonna say, well, <laughs> thank you for saving my turn. And I, I saw this among the wreckage uh, from a few of those paladin douchebags. I thought you might like it. Uh, it's a, uh, it's in good condition. I shot them in the face, so you know, um, shouldn't be any damage on the armor. Um, <clears throat> anyway, here. Uh, Uh, gonna go talk to Sil. I hope I you hope brought you, like me, it. you brought me a gift. Oh, it also um yeah I uh, I did. Um, and you killed it yourself. Well, absolutely. It wouldn't quite be right for me to get it if I didn't kill it. This is. It's good. It did good, Ham. I should probably go talk to my cat. Um, uh, Ask it why, why it didn't pets. follow you. Why oh, didn't that, it follow you? Oh, it's because I told I I told her I told her to to stay. Okay, well... I just didn't know what would be on the other side, and I, I wasn't fully expecting to, you know, start getting on airships. Kill a dragon, just... yeah. Kill, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Dex Abram. Exactly. Um, but I'm glad to have it back. By the way, if you ever need to talk, you're always welcome to... Hamish, hey, yeah, have you ever thought that I need... Permission to speak? Have I ever struggled to say what's on my mind? That's not going to change. I'm just going to keep on saying the things that I mean to say when I mean to say them. By the way, did you hear what I made up for myself? Um, I assume Captain you're Captain <laughs> Dragonfell. Hey, there you go. Because That's you, you a dragon, you need to just and it drop from the sky. Right, yeah, right into the volcano. Hey, yeah. I love it. So um, here's what I need you to do. I need you to tell me, mm -hmm. and I can help you if you need, what do you want to be on a pirate ship? Do you want to be a quartermaster? Do you want to be a first mate? Do you want to be a sailmaster? What well, do you the first mate sounds all right. Uh, but to be fair, I actually have no idea what these words mean. <laughs> We'll work on it. <laughs> Be the parent. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ro Robin's in the background uh, measuring the tattered remains of the, the clothing that the, the boss guy was wearing. And he's measuring it for a kimono. But then he hears the words, dragon fell. And he sees the yellowish-orange background <laughs> of this. Uh, and he goes, he has an idea. Just a light bulb <laughs> moment and walks away. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. <laughs> um, Sil is going to whisper to you, uh, not Toxin, Hamish, and say, uh, Zutalo, you smell like you're in heat, friend. Uh, <laughs> perhaps you should continue talking to her. I can wait. I missed you, obviously. I mean, I love you. You're like my bro, but <laughs> maybe you should. Okay. I can be your wing cat, I promise. Uh, oh, absolutely. But don't worry. 
uh, Camille, uh, he's he's got that covered. He's not a cat, but he's got that. Um, no, I I figure if I have any chance, and it's not even certain that I do. If I have any chance, it'll uh, it'll come bit by bit. Okay, very good. <laughs> so did I ever tell you? Before I met you, um, Savvy was actually going to tell me about her life and magic and everything else. At least I presume magic, since it's a big part of her life. Um, never did have that. That talk. Maybe one day we'll get it. Well, she should understand, Mimish. Is that the magic was inside you all along? You are the one. Please clip that. You are the one <laughs> that you called me. I felt you through the fabric. You brought me to this realm. See, but here's the problem with that. I have no idea what any of those terms mean or like, well, what is the fabric? And, and what do you mean I called you? It doesn't matter what I mean. I was I was sitting under a tree being sad. No, listen, she puts her paw <laughs> on your face. Shut up. Listen. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I call it. What matters is that you did it, Hamish. And that's why I'm here. Because you, Hamish, you'll learn what it means and what the cat calls it from where I'm from. In the meantime, oh. you've brought magic into this world. We, oui. you did well. I appreciate you. Do you, me a favor. If I ever tell you to stay, don't. Just follow after me. I couldn't because of the magic barrier. I, it was. Yeah, what the heck was that all about? I don't hey, know. Uh, can you settle something for me before, uh, before uh, perhaps an uh, ancient deity makes us the conversation move on? Um, <laughs> I don't know how you called it, but you kind of did. You got about ten minutes. I, I just, I'm, I'm just curious. The spiders. Do you actually, do you actually eat fireflies? I mean, Hakuna Matata, I guess, <laughs> if I have to. So you do! We all right! I mean, it's <laughs> it's not my first choice. Uh, a baguette uh, is probably <laughs> more up my alley. I'm not sure what a baguette is. It's a type of bug. Hey, listen. And you're going to hear, <clears throat> yeah. and as you turn, you see your father standing behind you and says, What's that, son? Or, who's it's that? A cat. It's a cat. That's a mighty big cat. The big cat. Uh, Dan, I want you to meet Syl. Syl, this is Dan. And, uh, Syl's my friend. She came to me in the woods after I called her to the fabric. Bonjour, she says. <laughs> he goes, Bonjour to you. And then she goes and she kind of puts her nose on the back of his hand and rubs against his leg, and she's as tall as he is. Um, actually, she might actually be big enough for you to ride, Dad, but... No, you, you will like... not ride me. No, you will not do that. We can no, talk we... to each other. You, this, You're... We understand each other. Surely there's a way that at some point I might be able to, to ride you on your back. You're faster than I am, even with these magical boots. I mean, swimming the way, is one thing. I have boots. Oh, yeah, I see that, son. They go up to your knees. They're very sexy. No, no, I don't think you understand. I'm going to jump for him. <laughs> you hit the bo <laughs> the bottom of the balloon. <laughs> Amazing. <Mom. laughs> son! I've been working on my leg strength. Look, we're going to have a lot to talk about. I'm glad you're safe. I'm glad your mother's safe, and whatever was holding down and keeping your mother clammed up is free. It's like I'm just meeting her for the first time, except I know her. 
I want to know you, son. I want to know you for who you really are. I want you to know that I accept you. And I appreciate you. I couldn't be more proud. I'd like to check to see if his dad is a mimic. Roll insight. I don't know, this feels very <laughs> out of left field. Is that is that anyone else? No, we're gonna roll initiative like right now as soon as you find out the truth. Don't you freaking dare. Hang Do you on, know how many people loaded. dream of having their dads say that they're proud of them? Yeah. And uh Mercy does not trust it. <laughs> For plot reasons, yeah, it's character fair. sheet, please roll. Please I, roll. Please I can also believe. I can also, believe. I can also help to believe. with this. Sure. I, okay, no, you know, if it doesn't work, he's I'm, not a minute. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna detect thoughts. <laughs> no, I'm rolling. You're gonna let me roll okay. my insight. <laughs> okay, sorry, I it's won't take that from you, Mercy. taking its time. <laughs> How dare you try to take this? From oh, me. I thought that was gonna be a natural twenty. No, it's not a mimic and. You can tell that um, when most people go through something traumatic, like having a cannonball fired through their house a couple times, um, it makes them a little, a wee bit vulnerable. And, um, oh, Mopsy, don't. <laughs> D&D is a fantasy because here you can have your dad say he's proud of you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this is so sad. To the stream. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Stop, 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 stop. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> His thoughts, Robin, are a mixture of elated. Uh, he's happy. He's proud. He's excited. And there's an, a, a, a tidal wave, a, a tsunami of guilt. He is currently processing very rapidly every moment in Hamish's childhood that didn't make sense. And then he's replaying how he responded to it. And a lot like a child who has ADHD or autism that isn't quite diagnosed, he never handled it correctly. He never had help. Um... And he grew up very frustrated at his son. And uh, that overwhelming tidal wave is quickly approaching and is about to spew out of the surface. Uh, as he's talking to Hamish, you see his chin begin to quiver, his beard begin to shake. Um, but he is being uh, very genuine. Uh, I'm gonna she move. writes down in her notebook, uh, use cannon to shoot through people's houses to make them think about their life choices. <laughs> That's a good note, actually. Yeah. Cannonball through it's house option. equals <laughs> therapy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move it to Dodina and just see uh, whether she actually likes her husband. <laughs> I'm just going to hug her dad. You are going to see... A Hamish and uh, Thurbel Bonecoat are gonna hug, and the Bonecoats hug it out. Um, it lasts a very long time. As there might be some, there might be some crying. Yeah, and it's coming from both ends, um, or both people rather. Um, he's not only he's only crying from his eyeballs. Um, okay. Anyway, shut up. Uh, then, <laughs> um, <laughs> then you're gonna get to Dodina, and Dodina <laughs> is currently. Um, she's looking at the ship and examining it throughout. She's looking at the crystal ball. Um, she is seeing the glyphs and, um, then she catches the moment. Um, and she just stops and stares at her husband and her son. Um, and yeah, surface thoughts are just this overwhelming relief that she told her husband the truth and he's safe this town is well the town people that are alive are safe um from prosecution currently and she also feels happy to be herself 
So she's like happy in her relationship. I'm, I'm there's, there's she not is a, happy. <laughs> she is happy in her relationship. Yes. <laughs> there's not a side quest I could go on to become Ham's dad. <laughs> you listen. If you keep making the right you're gonna decisions, you're going to gain um, points with her to the point where you can you can pursue a relationship. Walk um, up to Ham's dad, tell him that she's been hiding it this whole time, and also that Ham knew, and just ruin all the development oh. that just happened. Uh, w w is there an alternate side quest where I could become Ham's mom? <laughs> and I go after Thurble? I mean, it's D&D. &D, 2023. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Um, you're going to see the crew kind of circle around the deck. Um, and you're going to see as they do, um, they are going to gather around you, the savvy, um, and whoever else is up there, they're going to say, this, this world is beautiful. There's mountains and there's snow capped mountains and rivers and... What in hell of a crew. Thank you. You saved us. When Chian T. Wait. Yeah, sorry. Chian C. When Chian C. Brought the calamity. Our world was turned right upside down. I haven't seen an ocean that wasn't acidic or on fire in a decade. What is this place? This is opportunity. This is potential. This is the place where you will get to carve your names alongside ours. Not just as those who captain and crew the greatest ship in the land, but those bring down the will of the gods. Who don't need to rob and pillage for their treasure but who are given it freely because it is us, this crew, that will see the end of this cycle that has begun. That is what awaits you, where we are kings not by force, but by praise and adoration. That is what we offer to you. That is what you get as a member of this crew. He smiles and the light flickers in his eyes. The flawless at your service, Captain. And he is going to take off this necklace and in the middle is a, a purple pearl that has fire that has been captured inside of it, this eternal flame. There's two things you need to know about this. And he leans in for a whisper. This is the key to that there chest. If you don't wear this, that chest will rip you apart into shreds. And you look over, and indeed, there is a chest right next to the helm. And it's gold-plated and brass. There's some things in there that I'd like to show you, Captain. Things from my world that'll blow your mind. I'm, I bet there are. You have the loyalty of this crew, a pact. So, now that you fired me, what's gonna be my role? Yes, you with the hand up in the back. Can, can I hey, did you ever do the dexterity save to stop nunchucking? <laughs> <laughs> Please do it right now. <laughs> I wanna see you nunchuck your balls. Do it right now. I wanna see him shatter his hip. While, while I roll this, I um 
I moved uh, my, as soon as he leans in for the whisper, I move my detect thoughts, because it's up for 10 minutes. I move it over to, to, to <laughs> eavesdrop on this whisper. Okay. Um, what you're going to see is the chest that he's talking about. And this chest has a golden skull uh, on the front of it with, tell me what you rolled. I'm on a different screen. Uh, 23. There are no consequences. He stopped. You I, catch it. You catch it under your armpit. Die. I will never die. I'm so good at D and D. You are a badass player. So <laughs> there are no consequences. I was for you. so hoping he failed. Me too. I really was hoping he'd at least lose one. Um, I do a backflip as I stop the nunchuck. I would have given you a good berry. Yeah, the little girl with her beat up, broken dad from the beam is like, "Wow, that was really cool." <laughs> she's on the boat. Yeah, she, she, she's a member of the crew. You know, in Pirates of the Caribbean, how they have a little monkey. She's a little monkey. No, she's not a monkey. She just there's people rescued on the boat. The 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 town is on fire during this emotional. Oh yeah, there's by the there's lava like, spewing from the ground right now. That's right. Right. Anyway, <laughs> as you are nunchucking and also reading people's minds. Uh, you see that if you were to open this thing, fire would come out of the the skull's mouth, and this chainsaw blade would come out and cut you in twain if the necklace isn't worn. Um, so don't do it. And then he's like, ooh, because you see also that like um, somebody's done that before. <laughs> you know, fool me twice kind of thing. So... Um, Legless Jim over there. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Charlie. You idiot. Um, so with that, uh, you all have a ship. And she flies. And yeah, she do. has cannons. And you yeah, rescue the town. And Fraulein uh, is very happy to be on the ship with you. As Softball kind of goes over to Sill and says, Hmm. You are magnificent. And they smell each other's butts. It's beautiful. Um, what? Uh, and eventually... Hey, Fraulein. Oh, I'm busy. You're, I'm busy. You're a, you're a merchant, right? We. <laughs> oui. I mean, yes, that I am. Have you ever wanted to expand your operation? Like to the sky? You had me at you hello. Twice as high. Yes. So, I put my arm around Fraulein and I walk away. I'm thinking that you still pay says for you a cock blocker. You'd pay for a tenant space, you know, uh, so there'd just be rent to keep the supply here, you know, and then uh, we would probably just get a cut of everything you sell. And so I'm just negotiating a, <laughs> a deal. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, of course. We'll, but you have to take my whole posse. It's not just me. We are a traveling band of merchants. I'm so glad you said that because I was actually going to make that a stipulation of the contract. We need spinoff series and you're it. Yeah. A love triangle series it goes far. It goes far. As long as the characters remain alive. Um, okay. Good. And with that, the ship comes up and into the cool skies as the sun begins okay. to set. Yes, come here. Yeah, can I grab one moment? I just couldn't find a window for it earlier. Oh, and that's okay. The uh, ship lands and says, no, take your time. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it, it can all happen on the ship. It doesn't. It can be while we're going. It's fine. Okay, ship takes um, off again. <laughs> we all get whiplash. Wee! <laughs> I'm getting sick, guy. <laughs> There's an anchor <laughs> stuck to the house. You just say when, and we'll just rip it out. It's like when you jump on an elevator. It's Ham's house. <laughs> it's Ham, Ham's house. Is, it's already we're collapsed. The chimney, the chimney falls over. Ham's house you. is the anchor now. <laughs> <laughs> under the uh, under the ship is a floating. I just wanted a family dangling house. Yes, sorry, come in. You don't uh, get a house and a family. Sh- no, it's you cool. Gotta we'll, pick... You got this, Camille. You, you can be what you want. Camille will approach Mercy. Um, <laughs> say, hey, uh, Mercy. Um, first of all, can't help but notice that when I. <laughs> I was conscious and everyone was in the room and then when I woke up it was just you and I in the room so thank you for staying in the room first of all and second thank you it was very hard to see 
Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, us, us human folk and all. Um, I have dark vision. So do I. Shh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not part of this conversation. Us, us, us human folk and all. Um, so I, I wanted to thank you for that first and foremost. And second, I don't know if this is... um. I don't know if this is your style, at least, uh, but I, th I think it's probably something you can manage with, and he'll, he'll produce the, uh, the the golden the half plate from one of the, the Justicars. Um, you, you you've ke you've kept me safe a lot, Mercy, and and I I, I want to make sure you're safe too. So. If you can use it, use it, and and if not, I mean, I'll we'll, we'll find something else for you. Um, yeah, I can. It's definitely very bright, hard to hide in something so shiny. I could I, I could paint it. it for you. Oh no, I can fix it. Okay. It just uh, it's gold, so it just needs to be oxidized, and I can make it darker. Yeah, yeah, of course you. You got it. Um, Thank you. Of course, of course, yeah. And uh, good shots, by the way. Good shots out there. It was fun. All right. Mia will just kind of like pat his sides for a second and look around and then just kind of awkwardly shuffle away. <laughs> you all experience this ship flying with no boundaries no borders you see the trail beneath you you see the morduk valley and we, we dropped the, the the people who didn't want to be on the ship off right they, not yet not, still on the not ship. yet they can jump not off yet. whatever they not want holy shit no you drop them off 100 feet from the city so that they don't die in the future or we could get into the trafficking business <laughs> <laughs> what are they gonna do no. jump off that's on them damn it guys no i think uh, cam's made all the moral concessions he's willing to make recently <laughs> let me roll for a persuasion check real quick I got this. no <laughs> so, please um the ship um soars above windwood forest and the fothoid forest over the rolling dry hills of brittle hollow you can see the now charred scar that once was brittle hollow and you realize that this city was so close to this anti-magic in the portal on the other side that it sapped all life and magic from it and uh, it is now charred and basically a lava lake that's cooling and the captain or the previous captain the flawless will look at you savvy and say I can drive and fly wherever you want. I cannot wait to begin to use my cartography tools to map this world. There's something I want to show you. And he rolls out the map and you see that the map is very, very similar to yours, but different. You see that where Morduk Valley is, is a crater and a giant, just decimated world. As he looks down at the map, he looks up at Stodio Hall Mountain and he says, it's, it's almost like they destroyed my world to create yours. This is how you lift. This is how you drop. And this is how you steer. The magic that's within the ship does not rely on wind or water to sail. And Savvy looks very <laughs> pointedly at Hamish. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? It doesn't, matter, it, does, it doesn't matter what he's doing or if he heard that. She's yeah. just going to laugh very pointedly at him. You're using this moment to say, I told you so? Yes. But never yes. pass up an opportunity. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Um, the object of he's like, I, I didn't know that was that was funny, <laughs> uh, but this ship is not 
has not been built for water. It just, it's built for the open skies. And he kind of gestures for you to man the two wheels. Um, and just like the ship that uh, you found down in the cave. Uh, and Mercy, if you're watching this, it's exactly as they say with one goes up and down, the other one turns right and left. Um, and uh, and he just gestures, would you like to try? Absolutely, yes. And Savvy, as you take the wheels with your necklace that is the key to this chest, what's going through your mind? I am going to make so much fucking money. <laughs> That's what Robin's thinking, too. You don't have to make it that way. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. That is what she's thinking. It's this. There, this isn't necessarily a now I can go kill a god. This is a they can't aim their cannons high enough to shoot this. And even if they could, it's cloaked in iron. It's got plating. I could drop things on them and sink them all. This is going to be great. <laughs> it's true. It's it's going to be it's going to be great. I'm going to make a little tiny Mer ship. Mercy Mercy's going to make a comment uh once the the majority of the group is all together. Okay. Eventually the people down below or not the people down below, the people of Brittle Hollow tend to their wounds. Um Dodina, your mother, Hamish, does a really good job healing and bandaging, and um, the labyrinth is not going away. It's it's part of the ship, but on the other side of that labyrinth are barracks and hammocks and places to rest. Um, not comfortable. Hammocks would fry, but nevertheless, they turn it into like a makeshift medical tent. Um, and the captain and his crew basically tend to the ship uh leaving you all alone on the deck to have your own words i'm just sitting off to the side sewing something <laughs> okay now that we are limited to any borders or time frames or speed now that we can get to any city rather quickly we should also be cautious we have something amazing and a lot of people are going to want what we have so we need to be very careful make sure that no one can take it from us they won't Oh, they won't. I want to show something. Um, she pulls out the the small little pedon. That nice. <laughs> Thanks, Camille. Episode two coming back. Oh, and she froze. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you broke her. Oh, no. <laughs> The running joke is Pitten versus Piton. It's actually called Piton. Narcissus. Oh, you're back. Mm, let's all hear me? Let's all pretend the we're frozen. It's not being nice we, anymore. We can hear you now. Can you hear us? We can hear you. Yay, Yay. I can. can oh, nobody's going to pretend? Okay. Just me? Okay, I feel stupid. <laughs> me, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Me. We're supposed to pretend. <laughs> Connection is bad. Continue. And... Default gets two cannons to the side. Yes, they both hit because he's prone. Sewing. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, she starts to solve the puzzle uh, to the point where she had before, and it takes that form of the small airship. Yeah, it's probably seven inches long. And it's metallic and dark gray. And as, like, Hellbound Hellraiser, you twist mm -hmm. and click and pull some of the pieces into shape. The balloon sprouts out and forms, like, metallic, um, 
origami and then it starts to hover over your your hand a few inches and it looks similar but not identical to this ship the difference being that there's fins underneath it and it is all wooden well it looks wooden um and it looks like it's built more for the water than for this current ship you have a pocket airship one of the jobs i worked this was one of the items that was procured and something bad happened because of it. I don't know which direction we're going, but if we are going towards I can't remember names now. It's Babrigia, right? Mm-hmm. Or you can go anywhere now. <laughs> Hell, you can go to the Lafayette Kingdom to the north if you wanted to. No, Sky's the limit, literally. Not. Are you show you guys my house. No. Should we go, should we no, go no, no, let's go destroy your house. Yay! Yes. Destroy everyone's house. Savvy the homemaker strikes again. Should we go we to Strait? All our ties. <laughs> should, should we go to Strait more now that we're super over leveled? We could do like the the early quests. Yeah, why don't you go turn in the horse and cart? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just push a horse off. <laughs> I just... Never mind, don't do that thing I just said. <laughs> I know that says, uh, what, what, what's the lady's name? What, what's, the, what's the dumb lady's name? Nalelli. 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 Yeah, you guys killed from, her sister, from remember? Nalelli, from Nalelli, and we just who? <laughs> Nalelli's sister, you killed her. She's dead. Oh, she hated kill. her anyway. We it's not, fine. We we did not kill her. <laughs> we simply gave her an opportunity to prove herself, and she failed. True. <laughs> she, yeah, she was cut in twain. Um, sorry. Anyway, mercy. So, mm. you saying something bad happened? A friend of mine died, and it was. Um, I, I was pointed as the killer, though I did not kill her. I just realized that sounded very similar to a rhyme, but that was not the, the meant to do. You, you, you're a poet and you didn't even know that you were one. I am definitely not. That's good roleplay. Thanks. It does raise the question, though, and I do agree. I, I can see why people would want this. It's difficult for them that they can't aim a cannon to shoot it. We do have an advantage, I guess, is what I'm saying. But I suppose where I'm less clear, if I'm honest. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do with I mean, we can go wherever we want. I've never had this kind of freedom. Even when I was at sea, to pay attention to the tide, to the winds. But here we could just go. It doesn't matter if there's land in the way or not. Oh, Where do you want to go? The flawless question for you hey so were you around before your calamity happened no what's I... something you heard of that you've always wanted to try food luxury something along those lines that doesn't exist in your world anymore relics of recipes uh a brew a blue alcoholic drink would be amazing there's I, if I could find booze would be great. Another thing would be I would really love to just and he looks down at the forest. I'd love to camp. Start I a want, forest fire? No. No, I just want to put my feet into mud that isn't lava. I, you know I who want to... has alcohol that would love to meet these guys? Leary. Leary. Yeah. 
Let's go get drunk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think you can celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Lady, yeah. No, lady. That's that. I don't know who that is, but if they have blue drinks, let's do it. Well. Yeah. He's sure. Why not? Stew. The stew's blue sometimes. I for, would for like. For a stretch of time. And it'll get you drunk. Anything cold. <laughs> I'd love. Anything cold. I mean, cold is really a matter of perspective. That's what we've kind of uh, learned here from Captain, this. are you um, actually me? Yes, I oh, do okay. that. Oh, no, I'm listening. I'm, please. I, educate. Have you ever seen snow? <laughs> no. Well, yes, I see it right over there, miles away. You want to go meet some lizards? Yes. Uh, oh, I, that's so bad. <gasps> Fire we, lizards? You know who would love this ship? We need to get Tyler, right? Tyler Turner Tyler would love this shit. T Tyler's got to be the quartermaster, right? We're going to get Tyler, and she swings the wheel dramatically <laughs> around. <laughs> the ship just turns sideways, starts to spiral. Hey, thanks for the spiders. Come on, come on. <laughs> your your robes fly off. There now, goes the little girl. Oh no! <laughs> Stop that. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this is not as cool. Okay. So, you all are going to be able to fly wherever you want to fly. Um, the magic is strong in this ship, and the crew is happy. Uh, you can drop off your survivors. Um, we'll talk about what your parents want to do next, next week. Uh, we'll call it here at the hour, um, and you all will level up. Congratulations. The level seven. Because we killed yeah. that last dragon. No. Nope. The leader of an order. Level, level seven. No. Nope. Level seven. Right? No. No, because you. I want uh, you to experience level five. leveling. I want you to experience uh, what happens at five. And, you know, maybe you guys will be cool. We that already was at leveled five. to five. That's what I'm saying. We, we no. were at five. Monk yeah, was saying wants, last session. wants us to experience five more levels. So. Got oh, it. Listen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I'll just tell you. Up. At this point in the game, <laughs> seeing as you guys can go wherever you want, um, we're we're gonna be using theater of the mind because holy yeah. moly, you have the whole map uh, yeah. to go wherever you want. Let's no. play. Let's play Tyler. a game. Guess the Tyler. the least likely place Monk thinks we'll go, and then go there. Oh. Bottom of the ocean. Uh, I want to go fight this he... sea serpent. He does not okay. expect us to. He does not expect us to go to the wretched ash. Sorry, what does that say? Wretched, wretched ash. Wretched ass no. forest. No nope. forest. Yeah, not there. Definitely does not expect us to go there. I don't. See, the problem is, you guys are thinking about this as bound by this map. So we're gonna go to a previous iteration <laughs> of another world, and that's what we're gonna do. And see what kind of. How are we gonna get there? there. We're gonna open a portal by blasting it with broadside into the ground. That's we're just gonna fine. pick a random spot and start firing cannons until it opens up, and then we're gonna go. <laughs> that's how we did we it the first it. time. So we're gonna. Be what works this time around. Oh, can we, we do that montage balls. like Rescuers Down Under, where we have like the the hop, skip, and a jump, like the arching dots from one city to the right, next? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, let's call it here. Um, I love it level six in reality right level six you'll be level six next session uh you'll get a long rest i was gonna give it a cliffhanger but we don't need one because that was a freaking fantastic session inside and outside the game thank you everyone who has tuned in who has followed who has subscribed who has rated all the good things rolling and hit dice. yeah rolling hit dice for a nunchuck to the nuts and all other kind of oh, shenanigans oh, oh, yeah, that's a good um also yes. Um, just Max, let's fucking go. a huge thank you to the players. You guys make this game so incredible. And yeah. I love the yes and mentality. I love that we can get emotional when it's time to get emotional. We can have fun when it's time. And you guys kick ass when it's time to kick ass. Um, good job. And Soren, I can't see you, but amazing job with that halftime show. Amazing job. You left me wanting more. Um, Fantastic. Um, so for everyone who's tuning in,
we have a Discord, and we're going to be hanging out there for 26 minutes uh, till 30 past the hour just to kind of meet and greet and hang out and talk about the session. Um, you are all welcome to come hang with us. And um, for everyone else, we will see you next week at 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. Um, does anyone have anything else to say? Uh, in the Im Im immortal words... Um, where did he come from? Where did he go? Mm -hmm.